Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. Pokemon. Pikachu was picked up by Boss Yang and shocked the country. Chapter 41. Chu Feng raised his hands and pressed, and the audience fell silent, which showed that the whole rhythm had been mastered by Chu Feng. Then he said, Actually, the electric Pokemon Pokemon is easy to understand. To put it bluntly, it is a Pokemon Pokemon with lightning capabilities. As for other than the electrical department, are there any other departments? My answer is, a lot. I have designed many Pokemon Pokemon, but the experiment has not been successful. There are a total of 18 kinds of attributes. They are, normal, flying, fire, psychic, water, electricity, bug, rock, grass, ghost, ice, dragon, fighting, evil, steel, poison, ground and fairy. Every attribute is born with each other. Wait, Mr. Chu Feng, please wait. Before Chu Feng finished speaking, he was interrupted by the reporter who asked the question. Forgive me for interrupting you, the main reason is that the 18 attributes you mentioned just now make me have too many doubts, and I want to get your answer. Chu Feng didn't pay too much attention, and nodded with a smile. Please say. The reporter pushed his glasses and said. Just now you said that attribute represents the ability of Pokemon Pokemon. For example, Pikachu of the electric type can control lightning. Does that mean that Pokemon of the fire type can control flames, and Pokemon of the water type can control water flow? Chu Feng nodded. It can be understood in this way. Then I have to ask. Reporter said quickly. I just heard that among the 18 attributes you mentioned, there are Psychic, Ghost, Dragon, and Fairy. Does this mean that there will be Pokemon Pokemon with Psychic in the Pokemon Pokemon you create in the future? And Ghost Pokemon, even Dragons and Fairies? Chu Feng smiled. Forgive me for not being able to answer you, because those are just designs. I do have ideas in this regard, but after all, the experiment has not been successful, so I don't know if I can create it in the end. Mainly these things shock the three views. Even if Chu Feng said it. People probably won't believe it either. So just be vague. Save your saliva. And this answer really confused the reporter, pushing his glasses. In that case, please continue. Chu Feng nodded with a smile, and continued the previous topic. 18 kinds of attributes, each of which is mutually reinforcing and mutually restraining, just like water restraining fire, it is the same principle as the mutual generation and mutual restraint in the five elements. For example, if a water-type Pokemon fights with a fire-type Pokemon, the odds of winning for the fire-type Pokemon are extremely low when the difference in basic strength between the two parties is not large. Hearing this, the reporter had another question, and quickly said. Mr. Chu Feng, I would like to ask one more question, may I? Chu Feng smiled and shook his head. Although I don't mind answering one more question from you, you must follow the rules and everything. There are still many reporter friends waiting to ask questions. You can't ask all the questions by yourself. You have to give others a chance, right? Hearing what Chu Feng said, the reporter's face showed a trace of embarrassment, but it was the reporter after all, so he quickly adjusted his mentality and said. It's true that I was greedy, and I hope everyone will forgive me. Chu Feng smiled and stretched out a hand and pressed down. It's okay, please sit down. After the reporter sat down, Chu Feng finally ordered a female reporter to stand up, but her appearance was not seductive, which made Da Mimi very satisfied, and a smile appeared on the corner of her mouth. The female reporter was very pleasantly surprised, and quickly said. Actually, my question should also be what the gentleman wanted to ask. Oh, it seems that this is still a very attractive question. Chu Feng said with a smile, reaching out his hand to ask. Speaking, the female reporter said, When I heard Mr. Chu Feng mention 18 kinds of attributes before, and said that 18 kinds of attributes generate and restrain each other, I thought of this question. Did you design attributes for Pokemon to fight with each other? Chu Feng smiled and gave her a thumbs up. You're on point. Actually, Pokemon Pokemon can not only be used as pets, but also as combat partners. Think of the power and magical abilities of Pokemon, and how wonderful it would be to fight together. More importantly, although Pokemon Pokemon's intelligence is generally good, most of them are only at the level of a 10-year-old child, which will cause them to have a lot of fighting skills that cannot be used, 
plus the interaction between various attributes restraint is not something that Pokemon Pokemon can understand in its small head. So, Pokemon Pokemon battles require human command, and the intelligence of Pokemon Pokemon also meets the conditions for them to understand command. And these people who command Pokemon battles, I call them trainers. I have always had an idea, that is, to hold a Pokemon Pokemon contest in the future, so that many trainers can compete with their Pokemon Pokemon for the championship trophy. Think about it, how passionate and glorious it is for you to defeat other Pokemon Pokemon in a huge arena with the Pokemon Pokemon you have trained, and win the championship trophy that belongs to you and your Pokemon Pokemon. Chu Feng's description of the Pokemon Pokemon contest instantly hit the wild hearts of many men present. Even the eyes of many women are showing splendor. But there are also many people who frowned, such as the female reporter who asked the question. Mr. Chu Feng, I have to say that your description is very attractive, but isn't it a little cruel for Pokemon? It's like, how should I put it? Fighting beast normal. Also, I don't know what other Pokemon are like, but Pikachu and Pichu are so cute, I don't think their owners would be willing to let them fight other Pokemon. Chu Feng smiled and shook his head. I fully understand what you're thinking, but battles between Pokemon and beasts are completely different. First of all, in the Pokemon Pokemon contest, the battle between Pokemon Pokemon does not allow deathmatch, and I think most trainers will not be willing to let their Pokemon Pokemon go to deathmatch. In Pokemon Pokemon's physical fitness is much stronger than you imagined, and its vitality is much more tenacious than you imagined. No matter how fierce the battle is, Pokemon Pokemon will not die easily. At most, it will be a coma. Of course, the most important thing is that the Pokemon I created basically have a fighting nature in their hearts. They will make Covet stronger, and Covet will become stronger with their own trainer. Covet and their own trainer will defeat rival together. Victory. So, you can totally treat the Pokemon contest as a sporting event, like boxing. Also, considering the destructive power of Pokemon Pokemon, and all kinds of magical powers, it will definitely be very exciting to fight. If it weren't for Pikachu, other Pokemon Pokemon are still in the larval stage and haven't learned any skills, otherwise I might be able to let you see a wonderful battle between Pokemon Pokemon. The whole meeting room was full of discussions. All were fascinated by Chu Feng's description of Pokemon battles, imagining how exciting it would be. The female reporter who asked the question was also caught in the imagination, and only smiled after a while. Mr. Chu Feng, I have to say that your description is very attractive, but sorry, if I am lucky enough to own a Pokemon, I will never have the heart to let it fight other Pokemon, I feel like creatures like Pikachu are more like family, more like children to protect than battle partners. Chu Feng smiled and listened to the female reporter's words. After listening, he said with a smile. It's okay, I have my own understanding, I think if you can own a Pokemon, it must be its luck, and you will take good care of it, please sit down. After the female reporter sat down, Chu Feng picked up another reporter and said. This meeting has been long enough. For some reason, I can only answer the last question of you all, so please ask this reporter friend to think it over before raising it. Hearing what Chu Feng said, there was a commotion in the audience. The reporter who just wanted to ask a question was also surprised. Then hastily swallowed the question that was about to be raised. After thinking for a while, I changed to another question. Then, let me ask a question that everyone here wants to know the most, and it is also the question that the public wants to know the most. May I ask Mr. Chu Feng, when will Pokemon Pokemon be officially sold, how will it be sold, what is the price, how much is it, and what is its type? Hearing this question, Chu Feng organized his language and said with a smile. This is the question I want to answer the most today. Tell me, did you receive a red envelope? There was a sudden laugh off the court, and the reporter also cracked the corner of his mouth. I think so, but it's a pity that no one in your company gave me a red envelope. Chu Feng looked angrily at the left and right employees. What's the matter with you, reporter friend is here, why don't you arrange the red envelopes, you don't understand the rules. The left and right employees were stunned for a while. If you want to give out red envelopes, you have to give us red envelopes. Is it possible that we have to pay for it ourselves? It was only later that he realized that Chu Feng was just joking, and he couldn't help but laugh. After making a small joke, Chu Feng said. 
Okay, teasing time is over, let me answer a question from my reporter friend. First of all, the Pokemon Pokemon that our company uses for sale is currently only Pichu, and the number is 998. As for the selling method, for the sake of convenience, our company adopts the online ordering method, which is unified into a three-month period, and the number and types of Pokemon in each period vary. Tonight at 12 o'clock in the evening, our company's official website will be officially opened. The website address is xxxxx. Everyone can log into the Pokemon Pokemon official website to see the order page. Three days later, at 7 o'clock in the evening on August 21st, the panic buying will officially begin event. While stocks last, after the snap-up is successful, our company will deliver Pokemon to customers within three days. As for the price, we will know when the time comes, there will be surprises. Following Chu Feng's announcement, there was a heated discussion in the audience, and the reporter who asked the question wanted to ask more. But Chu Feng already said it was the last question, so naturally he won't give him another chance. Immediately declare. This is the end of this informal media conference, all reporter friends, please leave in an orderly manner. Naturally, many media will not leave the venue willingly, and they still have a lot of questions they want to ask. But everything that needs to be said has already been said, and Chu Feng doesn't want to waste any more words. If you don't go, I will go. So, Chu Feng put down the microphone, and wanted to take Da Mimi and Pang Di to leave the stage. Seeing that Chu Feng was about to leave, many reporters immediately swarmed up, but the security guards who were prepared had already formed a human wall to block them out, making a way for Chu Feng and others to leave. These reporters are experienced in many battles, and this kind of scene can't trouble them at all. They all stretched out the microphones in their hands from the arms of the security guards, just like the shield and spear array on the ancient battlefield. All kinds of problems like locust plagues normal also hit Chu Feng overwhelmingly. Chu Feng naturally turned a deaf ear and walked forward. At this moment, a female reporter shouted loudly with a microphone. Da Mimi, Da Mimi, I have a question to ask you. What is your relationship with Mr. Chu Feng? Just now I found that when Mr. Chu Feng points his hand to the female reporter, your expression will change subtly. And Mr. Chu Feng will glance at you from time to time, and once he sees a change in your expression, he will point the hand pointing at the female reporter to the male reporter again, what is the relationship between you two? The whole scene suddenly fell silent. Chu Feng stopped walking, and looked at Da Mimi who also stopped behind him. Looking at Da Mimi with an unnatural expression. Chu Feng nodded to her, gave her a reassuring look, and immediately took the microphone from the hand of an employee next to him, wanting to explain that the two are just friends and partners. Unexpectedly, at this moment, Da Mimi suddenly stepped forward, grabbed Chu Feng's arm, snatched the microphone from his hand under Chu Feng's astonishment, and said. As you can see, Chu Feng is my lover. After finishing speaking, without giving anyone a chance to react, he dragged Chu Feng out of the meeting room quickly. Everyone stayed. The face of Da Mi Mi's agent who was also present at this time changed again and again, and finally he could only let out a long sigh. As for Fat D, who was following Chu Feng and Da Mimi, his expression froze at first, and then turned into admiration. It really is the boss, it is domineering. With long legs, she quickly followed Chu Feng and Da Mimi. It wasn't until the backs of the three of them completely disappeared in the conference room that many media reacted, and suddenly there was a monstrous heated discussion, and the emotions were extremely excited. A reporter lamented. Today's big news is really one after another, I'm going to be busy tonight. After walking out of the meeting room, Chu Feng looked at Da Mimi who was holding his arm, and said softly. Why? Don't tell me you don't know what this is going to do to you. Da Mimi smiled sweetly, leaning her head on Chu Feng's shoulder. Because I love you. Chu Feng smiled, reached out to hold Da Mimi in his arms, patted her shoulder gently, and pecked lightly on her forehead. I love you too. Fatty, who was behind the two of them, was stunned for a moment. Sprinkling dog food so blatantly. Or, just pretend that I don't exist. With the end of this informal media conference, the media began to frantically rush to draft. Attempt to occupy the headlines of hot searches as quickly as possible. Suppress teacher Wang who is about to release a new song tonight. As an excellent medium, we can't let teacher Wang's character collapse.
This is the belief in the hearts of many media. Shocked, Pikachu, an ancient mythical beast conceived from lightning, is real. Want the ancient beast Pikachu. Want to have a perfect pet. Go ahead, there it is, Pokemon the Pokemon Company. Cross-age technology, genetic biotechnology. Gene organisms debut, a new era begins. Fantasy creatures attack reality, is this a mysterious recovery or a technological leap? Pokemon Pokemon, the protagonist of this era. Iron Tail and Agility, Pikachu's Magical Skills. On the safety of Pikachu as a pet. 18 Attributes, which one do you like? Pokemon Pokemon Trainer, Pokemon Pokemon Contest, Imagined Wonderful Pokemon Duel, Imagined by Genius Scientist Chu Feng. August 21st at 7 o'clock, Pokemon is waiting for you. Chu Feng, the man of God normal. Shocked, Da Mimi made a high-profile announcement of their love affair. Who is Da Mimi's boyfriend? The story that Da Mimi and the mysterious boyfriend have to tell. For a while, the national media was on the lookout. Countless articles such as Locust Plague Normal hit the internet. Not only shocked the netizens all over the country, but also successfully suppressed teacher Wang who had just climbed into the trending search. Wang teacher's persona was successfully preserved. This also made some celebrities in the entertainment industry breathe a sigh of relief, and the catastrophe was finally avoided. And on the internet, a heated discussion spread to netizens all over the country. What the fool? What happened? What Pokemon? What Pikachu? What genetic creatures? Where did it all come from? Brother, your home is disconnected from the internet, and you don't even know about this. It's really amazing. Even though there were various signs that Pikachu was real, I still couldn't believe it until the last moment. I didn't expect that it was not only real, but also for sale. Pokemon, the Pokemon company, I have a hunch, this is definitely going to grow into a giant company. Chu Feng, this is really a godlike man as the news said. Not only did he create genetic biotechnology at such a young age, but he also developed such an excellent genetic creature as Pikachu. It's amazing. It's Pokemon Pokemon, Pokemon Pokemon, I don't allow you to call it a genetic creature. That's right, it's still Pokemon Pokemon. Chu Feng is so handsome, young, and talented. Now it seems that he will definitely not be short of money. He is really outstanding. I declare that Chu Feng will be my male god from now on, God Chu. Get out, brother Chu Feng is my male god. You green tea whores, don't rob brother Chu Feng from me, brother Chu Feng is mine, and whoever dares to rob me will fight to the death. Then go and fight Da Mimi, your male god already has an owner. Ah, don't say it, don't say it, I don't want to face it. What's so good about Da Mimi, I don't know why Chu Feng brother will fall in love with her. The family is big enough. What's the matter? Mine are much bigger than hers. Everything needs evidence. I don't believe that yours is bigger than hers. If you have the ability to explode photos. By the way, are Pikachu and Pichu really the same species? Although the two are indeed very similar, the body proportions are quite different. I can't imagine how Pichu will grow to look like Pikachu. Indeed, I don't think the two are the same species, but since the developer said they are the same species, they must be the same species. What? My great mistress actually has a man, don't. My heart is broken, off fans, off fans. That's not enough, celebrity also has the freedom to fall in love. Yes, celebrity has the freedom to fall in love, but I also have the freedom to leave fans, she broke my heart. How old are you? It broke your heart, and you don't even take pictures of yourself. What? My big M.I. has a man, how is this possible? I don't believe it. Da M.I.M.I. personally admitted, can there be a fake? Who is that man, and why is he worthy of Da M.I.M.I.? Are you disconnected from the internet? Even Chu Feng doesn't know. Why? This guy named Chu Feng is amazing. That's not normal's greatness, you can find it by searching the internet. The developer of genetic biotechnology, the creator of Pokemon Pokemon Pikachu, the owner of Pokemon Pokemon Company, and an honorary academician of the Academy of Sciences, this is too amazing. So young, how did he do it? Now it seems that it is not whether Chu Feng is worthy of Da Mimi, but whether Da Mimi is worthy of Chu Feng. Although I'm a big fan of Mimi, I admit that Mimi really doesn't deserve Chu Feng, this man is simply a god. 
Although I don't want to admit it, it is indeed my family's big power who climbed up. That's right, how can your big MIMI be worthy of my brother Chu Feng? Will Pokemon Pichu be on sale at 7pm in 3 days? Looking forward to it. Why don't you sell Pikachu? I like Pikachu even though it looks cute in the photo. There's only one Pikachu now, how could it be sold? And it's the same when buying a Pichu, anyway, it will become a Pikachu when it grows up. I really have a question that I don't understand. Why do the same species have two names? And have you noticed the words used in the news? At that time, Chu Feng said that Pichu will become Pikachu when he grows up. Pay attention to, change. Why do you use the word, shame? Doesn't normal always grow into? You are too sensitive, maybe people use this word just casually. It is indeed possible, but I always feel that there are other reasons, and don't you think it is too strange to have two names for the same species? It's a bit strange indeed, but it doesn't seem to make sense for us to dwell on this issue. That's true, I'm the one who got into a dead end. I just want to know how much a Pichu sells for. Chu Feng is too tempting. Since Chu Feng said that the price of Pichu will be a surprise, it is very likely that the price of Pichu is not as expensive as we thought, anyway, that's how I understand it. What's the point of discussing these things? Even if it's true as you said, the price of Pichu is not as expensive as we imagined, it's definitely not something we can afford. I know, it's up to you to say, but can't you think about it, what if I can afford the price revealed by Pichu in the end? You did it in a daydream, I want to slap you, think about the magic of Pichu, think about its extraordinary appearance, and think about the number sold in 3 days, 998, so magical and rare no matter how low the price can be for your pet, I estimate that your entire net worth is only enough to buy its one, one bionic figure. The suburbs southeast of Kyoto. There is a large manor here, surrounded by high walls and barbed wire, like a prison. The area is about the size of 10 football fields. Except for a few small buildings in the center, the rest are all grasslands and woods, as well as several small lakes. This is exactly what Chu Feng rents out to raise Pokemon. Originally, this large manor did not have high walls and barbed wire. It was built by Chu Feng himself after renting it out, mainly to prevent people from entering or Pokemon from running out. In fact, Chu Feng originally wanted to buy it. But after asking about the price, I decisively changed the purchase into a rent. 1.2 billion. Although the state funded Chu Feng with 5 billion yuan, the 5 billion yuan will be used to start a company and develop Pokemon Pokemon. Therefore, Chu Feng at this stage does not dare to be so generous. A black car slowly drove into the manor. The driver was Chu Feng. The car carried Da Mimi, Fat Di and Zhang Yaoting, as well as Pikachu and four little guys. The purpose of Chu Feng coming here this time is to bring Zhang Yaoting to choose a Pichu. This was promised before. As soon as the car drove through the gate, Pikachu and the four little guys started to fight. There was no other way, Chu Feng could only stop the car and open the door. Pikachu rushed out with the four little guys, and disappeared in a nearby woods after a while. The little ones are very familiar with this place, and they also like to play here, after all, there are many of their own race here. Chu Feng ignored them. After putting them down, he drove away and arrived at the small buildings in the center of the manor. Just after getting off the car, a beautiful woman in her thirties greeted her. Mr. Chu, Mr. Yang, Shouty, and Mr. Zhang, it's time for dinner now, and the employees are all eating. I have prepared meals for you. Do you think you should eat first or? This beautiful woman is named Lin Meiling. It is the steward who was sent by Da Mimi to manage this manor before. I have to say that Da Mimi's work is still reliable. Lin Meiling is not only beautiful, but also very caring for Pokemon. She is also very capable. She manages the manor properly, and the staff in the manor are also very convinced of her. Chu Feng smiled and nodded to her, then looked at Zhang Yaoting. It's time for dinner, why don't we eat first? Zhang Yaoting really wanted to choose his little Pichu right away, but since Chu Feng said so, he couldn't be too impatient, so he could only smile and nod. Okay, I didn't eat in the morning, I'm really hungry. Seeing this, Chu Feng looked at Lin Meiling. Okay. Let's go, let's eat first. Lin Meiling smiled slightly, and stretched out her hand to ask. PLZ follow me. 
Everyone walked towards the restaurant. Along the way, Chu Feng kept chatting with Zhang Yaoting. After all, he was a guest, so he couldn't leave others alone. And Da Mimi Fatty also chatted with Lin Meiling. Da Mimi smiled and said, How about it, Sister Lin, are you happy working here? Lin Meiling smiled and said, That's not normal's happiness. Little Pichu is so cute. He chirps like a group of dolls, and many of them are very well behaved. There are only a few little troublemakers who can't be controlled, but it's also very interesting. If there are no children at home, I want to stay here forever and don't go home on Saturdays and Sundays. Fatty said enviously. Sister Mailing, I'm so envious of you, you can play with a group of little Pichus every day. Lin Mailing gave Fatty a supercilious look. You envy my sister, and my sister also envies that you can have your own little Pichu. Little Pichu is so cute. Every time I go home on weekends, my Guangguang will clamor for me to bring him here to play. Touch and hug the little Pichu, unfortunately, all my money is used to buy a house, and I still have a loan on my body, otherwise I would want to buy a little Pichu. While talking, he would glance at Da Mimi from time to time. Obviously, although she was talking to Fatty, she was talking to Da Mimi. The purpose is to make Da Mimi agree to let her bring her children here to play on weekends. This manor is completely closed, without Chu Feng and Da Mimi nodding, even if she is the biggest steward of this manor, she would not dare to bring her children here to play without permission. Being able to start and manage a company well, Da Mimi is naturally not a person who does not know how to read words and expressions, and immediately understood the purpose of Lin Meiling's words. He smiled and said, Sister Lin, we are all sisters. If you talk like this, you don't think of me as a younger sister. If you want to bring light to play, just bring it directly. Is such a trivial matter worth talking about? Lin Meiling was immediately happy. Then thank you sister, if Guangguang knows that he can come here to play, he will definitely be very happy. At this time, Da Mimi smiled and said. Sister Lin, let me tell you another piece of good news. A Feng told me before that when there are more Pokemon Pokemon, he will use some Pokemon Pokemon to reward the company's employees, so Sister Lin, work hard. Manage this manner well, take good care of the Pokemon in the manner, and you will definitely get a little Pichu of your own in the future. This news made Lin Mailing very excited, and quickly assured Da Mimi that she would do her best to manage the manor and take good care of the Pokemon inside. Soon, several people came to the restaurant together. Nearly 100 employees in the whole manor are dining in the hall of the restaurant at this time. Talking and laughing about which little Pichu in the manor is the cutest, which one is the most obedient, and which one is the naughtiest. Of the nearly 100 employees, about 70 are young women. There are more than a dozen aunts. There are only 14 for men. The ratio of men to women is seriously out of balance. This is because when Chu Feng selects employees, he will specially select some caring and emotional people. Obviously, under normal circumstances, women are more loving and emotional than men. Therefore, such a seriously imbalanced male-to-female ratio has been created. Seeing Chu Feng and others coming to the restaurant, all the staff immediately stood up and said hello. Chu Feng and Da Mimi Fat D are used to seeing them here often, so the employees are not too excited. But when they saw Zhang Yaoting, several girls immediately became excited. I really want to rush forward immediately and ask for an autograph. But after all, he was still somewhat rational, and in the end he suppressed his excitement and did not rush forward. After speaking briefly with his staff and encouraging them, Chu Feng took Zhang Yaoting to the dining room on the second floor. In fact, Chu Feng prefers to dine with his staff in the lobby. In addition to being more popular when I like to eat, it is also to be able to mingle with the employees better. So that I can understand the problems they encounter at work and the situation of each little Pichu. Definitely not because there are many beautiful women on staff. But now that there are guests, it is naturally not allowed for the guests to dine with the employees, which would be a bit rude. After finishing the meal, Zhang Yaoting couldn't wait to propose to choose his own little Pichu. Lin Meiling said. Mr. Zhang, the little Pichus are playing outside now. This manor is also very big, so it's not easy to find, but it's time for the little Pichus to eat soon, and they will all gather in the dining area, so we just need to wait in the dining area. 
Hearing this, Zhang Yaoting nodded excitedly, and urged everyone to leave quickly. Soon, several people came to the Pokemon restaurant. There are rows of small low tables in the restaurant, and each small table has a soft cushion under it. At this time, there are staff members placing food on these small tables. A small table is one serving. The food was plentiful, with a small bowl of rice, a buttered bread, an apple and a bottle of milk, and a plate of meat. As the staff finished placing the food, a broadcast sound came to the manor. Little guys, it's time to eat. The radio rang three times in a row. And as the broadcast sounded, 1,000 little Pichus ran out of the small woods one after another, and gathered in the dining area with great excitement. Before long, the first pup, well, it's Pikachu. Relying on its fastest speed, it was the first to rush into the dining area. After glancing at Chu Feng and the others, it quickly chose a small table and started to stuff cheeks. Fortunately, the staff also prepared food for Pikachu and the other four little ones, otherwise the little ones would be hungry. Following Pikachu, little Pichu rushed into the restaurant one after another. After a while, there was a little guy in front of all the tables. The whole restaurant became lively. The sound of the little ones eating and the little ones Pichu Pichu's growl mixed together, one after another, like a bad band playing a bad piece of music. Chu Feng, Da Mimi, and Fat D are fine, they have seen this kind of scene many times, and they don't seem very excited at this moment. On the contrary, Zhang Yuding's face was congested with blood, and his whole body was trembling with excitement. There are so many adorable Macy's dining together that anyone seeing it for the first time will be overwhelmed. Zhang Yaoting is not bad. Chu Feng remembers a new employee who arrived a month ago, a 20-year-old girl. Saw so many cuties dining together. Immediately screamed excitedly on the spot. Contest then fainted from the lack of oxygen from screaming and almost went into shock. It was also because of this matter that Chu Feng made a special rule. The new staff, never allowed to be in the Pokemon restaurant during the previous week when the little ones were eating. The main reason is that they are afraid that they will die in place because of excitement. Don't think it's too exaggerated. Some people may go to see God directly because of excitement. Michael's concert has confirmed this for us. Finally, Zhang Yuding's emotions gradually eased from the excitement, and he remembered his purpose of coming here. A pair of eyes quickly looked at these little guys. I want to pick out a little Pichu that suits me best. However, he soon discovered that he liked and wanted each of these little guys, and he couldn't make a choice at all. It's really hard to pick your favorite among the 999 cute Macy animals. How to choose this? Zhang Yaoting now somewhat understands the feelings of those patients with difficult choices. Time passed little by little, until the little ones had eaten enough and left the Pokemon restaurant, Zhang Yaoting still hadn't made his choice. Seeing that the restaurant was empty of a little guy, Zhang Yaoting looked helplessly at Chu Feng, Da Mimi and Fatty, and spread his hands. Don't blame me, I really can't make a choice, it's too difficult. Chu Feng smiled. It's okay, I understand. Fatty also nodded again and again. I can understand it the most. When I was choosing a minibus, I couldn't make a choice when I saw so many cute Macy animals. It was so difficult until I saw the pitiful minibus hiding aside. My heart softened, and I made a choice. Da Mimi also smiled and said. It's okay, today we have a whole day to accompany you to choose slowly. Although it doesn't matter which one you choose is good, it's best to choose the one that best suits your wishes. Chu Feng stepped forward and patted Zhang Yaoting on the shoulder. Let's go, let's go to the place where the little ones like to play, and when we get there, play with the little ones, maybe one of them will meet your eyes. Zhang Yaoting is naturally happy to accept this proposal, after all, there are not many opportunities to play with so many cuties. Soon, everyone walked into a forest. In the woods, there are many little Pichus playing around in the trees and under the trees. In addition to playing, some are leaning on the tree trunks to take a nap, very comfortable. Zhang Yaoting looked at these little guys with different postures in surprise, while following Chu Feng and others to continue walking. Soon, everyone came to a small amusement park hidden in the woods. This is the only amusement park in the entire park, so except for meal time and rest time, there will be a large number of little ones gathering at all times. Some of them are swinging. Some are playing on slides. 
Others are playing seesaw. Of course some are fighting. But they were all very measured, they didn't make any harsh moves, they were just playing. At this time, Zhang Yaoting suddenly discovered an interesting thing. I saw several generators placed abruptly in this amusement park, and they were all still working in contest condition. And these generators are surrounded by little Pichu, dragging the wires extending from the generators against the red circles on both sides of his cheeks, and electricity ember will flash from time to time. The little guy not only did not show pain, but was very happy and enjoying, sending out a refreshing growl. Zhang Yaoting knew that electricity would definitely not hurt the little ones, but he was also very curious about why the little ones would do this. Busily asked Chu Feng, what are they doing? Chu Feng smiled. Nothing, just charging. Charge, Pichu needs charge. Zhang Yaoting was stunned. Before Chu Feng opened his mouth to explain, Da Mimi on the side said with a smile. That's right, it's charge. Pichu and Pikachu do not generate electricity themselves. The reason why they discharge is because the two red circles on their cheeks are a set of special organs that can store electricity. When they discharge, they just discharge the stored electricity. Just come out. In normal conditions, they store electricity by collecting positive and negative ions in the air, but this way of storing electricity will be very slow, so they prefer to charge directly in places with a lot of electricity, so that they can store a lot of electricity at once. The feeling will make them feel extremely comfortable. Chu Feng nodded. That's right, that's it. Zhang Yaoting was very surprised. So that's the case, no wonder you put generators so abruptly in this amusement park, it's really interesting. At this moment, Zhang Yaoting saw another interesting phenomenon. I saw six little Pichu facing each other with their tails up. Then Chi Chi roared. Hi, mount. The dazzling spark flashed, enveloping all six little Pichus at once. This process lasted for more than 10 seconds, and then the six little Pichus started dancing with their arms and legs. Seeing the interest, Zhang Yaoting patted Chu Feng's shoulder with a smile, pointed there, and asked. What are they doing? Chu Feng glanced at it and said with a smile. It's nothing, they are comparing their guts to see who will run away because of fear. Hearing what Chu Feng said, Zhang Yaoting said with a smile. I see. Then why are they dancing again now? Is it because none of the little ones are happy because they are afraid of running away? Chu Feng shook his head. It's not at all. They are not dancing now, but their bodies are paralyzed by their own electricity, and they can't control themselves. Ah. Uh. After getting this answer, Zhang Yaoting was obviously taken aback, and then laughed out loud. Ha ha, I numbed myself with electricity, these little guys are really interesting. At this moment, the sound of a little Pichu crying suddenly came from the ear. Several people turned their heads quickly and saw a little Pichu sitting on the ground, with two little hands and two legs patting the ground angrily, crying loudly. Next to it is a little girl about 20 years old who is anxiously comforting it. Seeing this scene, Chu Feng and others hurried up and asked. What's the matter? What happened? Seeing Chu Feng and others, or to be precise Lin Mailing, the little guy got up from the ground immediately, crying and gesticulating with his two short hands. Then he hugged Lin Mailing's thigh and buried his head in tears. Lin Mailing quickly picked it up and hugged it like a child to comfort her. But the little guy seemed very sad, and he couldn't be coaxed well. Seeing this, Lin Mailing took out a large lollipop from her pocket, and then coaxed the little guy. And he immediately turned from crying to laughing, hugged the lollipop, tore open the package with his teeth, and began to lick it happily. Seeing that the little guy has been coaxed, Chu Feng looked at the little girl beside him and asked. What the hell happened? The little guy's gestures are too abstract, and it is impossible to see what it wants to express. Facing her big boss, the little girl seemed a little nervous, and quickly explained the situation. Boss, it's like this. This little guy left an apple when he was eating just now, and was going to eat it slowly, but before he took a bite, he was snatched away by another little guy. Hearing this, Chu Feng immediately guessed who took the little guy's apple. Lin Mailing also gritted her teeth instantly and said. It must be the little Xiaobawang. Just now I was still guessing who robbed the little guy of Apple's big power, but when Lin Mailing mentioned Xiaobawang, she stopped guessing immediately and nodded very firmly. Only Zhang Yaoting and Fatty, who came for the first time and who came infrequently, were a little puzzled. Fatty quickly asked. 
Who is Xiaobawang, and why is it called Xiaobawang? When mentioning Xiaobawang, Lin Meiling gritted her teeth with hatred. It's just a lawless little, relying on his fearless character, he bullies other little Pichus every day. At this time, the little girl on the side didn't seem to be too nervous, and said. Not only that, it also has twelve little boys, all of whom are little fools. If any little guy is not pleasing to the eye, it will rush up and beat it up, and often snatch other little Pichu's toys and food. Quote. And it's not only aimed at other little Pichus, they often go to our staff dormitory to search for snacks and toys after our rest at night, even Sister Lin's office. They ransacked once, and they robbed many of the toys that Sister Lin bought for her son. It's very lawless, just like the underworld, and my colleagues gave them a funny name, Pokemon Pokemon Manor 13 Taibao. Hearing what the little girl said, both Zhang Yaoting and Fatty widened their eyes in surprise. After a while, Fatty sighed. Isn't this too bad? But Zhang Yaoting is interested. It sounds like these little guys are a bit of a jerk but they seem to be quite interesting, especially the little bully. Looking at Chu Feng, why don't we go find that little bully, I'm full of interest in it now, take a look, if it looks pleasing to the eye, I'll choose it. Hearing what Zhang Yaoting said, Chu Feng nodded with a smile, then looked at Pikachu who was playing on the slide with other little ones, and waved to it. Seeing his master calling himself, Pikachu immediately ran over. Hi, Ka, Chu. Chu Feng told Pikachu. Go and ask other little guys to see if anyone knows where the little bully is now. After asking clearly, take us to find the little bully. After hearing Chu Feng's order, Pikachu nodded, and quickly went to ask other little guys. He ran back quickly and called out. Hi, Ka, Chu. He turned his head and signaled everyone to follow it, then turned around and ran in one direction. Chu Feng and the others hurriedly followed. Soon, Chu Feng and the others saw the Pokemon Pokemon Manor 13 Taibao in a small Abigail in the woods. At this time, a little Pichu was reclining on the seat of the stone pavilion, eating the apple in his hand with a proud face. The other twelve little Pichus surround little Abigail. Once other little ones approach, they will be glared at by them and flee quickly. Against the backdrop of the twelve little Pichus, the little guy lying on the chair and eating apples looks like a black boss. Obviously, it is the bully. It looks like the 13th Taibao of the Underworld Gang Normal. Zhang Yaoting couldn't help feeling more interesting. Especially the attitude of the black boss like the little bully. Cooperate with its cute little body. The contrast is too great. There is a kind of contrast. And Lin Meiling was already full of anger at this time. Sure enough, it was the little bully who snatched the apple from the little guy before immediately wanted to go up and grab its ears to teach it a lesson. She is not afraid that these little guys will attack her. Although these thirteen little guys are very fools. Often bullies other little Pichus. I also often go to the staff dormitory or office to steal things when the staff is not paying attention. But it has never been aggressive towards humans. Even if it is caught by an employee and spanked severely. Also just screaming desperately. Never fought back. At this time, a little Pichu who was guarding his boss around Abigail also found Chu Feng and others. Immediately send a growl reminder to the bully in Abigail. When Xiaobawang saw Chu Feng and the others approaching. Especially seeing the angry Lin Meiling. Immediately there was a bad feeling. He called out very decisively. Pichu, Pichu. Brothers, the wind is tight, shit. Turn your head and jump. Jump from inside Abigail to outside Abigail, that is to run. The other twelve little guys, seeing that their boss had run away, immediately followed behind, running desperately. Don't run, stop for me, or see how I will deal with you. Seeing the thirteenth Taibao running away, Lin Meiling rushed up, threatening while chasing. It's a pity that the thirteenth Taibao of Pokemon Manor was so frightened that he didn't care about Lin Meiling's threat and ran wildly. It is naturally impossible for Lin Meiling to catch up with little Pichu. Watching these thirteen little fools getting farther and farther away from him. Can only helplessly stop. Stomping tantrum in exasperation. Chu Feng smiled, glanced at Pikachu under his feet, and said. Still watching, agility, catch up and stop these thirteen little fools. Pikachu got the order, and immediately used agility, turning into an afterimage and chasing after him. In less than 10 seconds, he had already caught up with the 13th Taibao who was running wildly. 
A 90 degree drift, four short legs rubbed against the ground, perfectly blocked in front of Xiaobawang. Looking at Pikachu who suddenly appeared in front of him. Xiaobawang is also a proud master. Although know that Pikachu is strong. Was also taught by Pikachu before. But it just won't admit defeat. Not afraid at all. Immediately, he rushed forward. I saw the little bully who was like a bull, normal, bumping into him on the head. A hint of disdain flashed in Pikachu's small eyes. Raised a small short hand. Facing the little overlord who rushed over, he was a big push. The little overlord was immediately kicked off the ground by this big bully. Played a few spins in the air. Fell to the ground. Feel dizzy for a while. Looking at the bully who fell to the ground, Pikachu shook his head. Pikachu. Too young, I am a big fool, 20 years of hard work, can you handle it? 12 other little fools. Seeing that his boss was beaten by a big force, he was beaten to the ground. All of them stopped obediently. Compared to their big bully. They are still somewhat self-aware. Otherwise, he would not be willing to be the little overlord younger brother. See here. They all stopped. Stand obediently in front of Pikachu. The little bully shaking his head got up from the ground. Looking down at Pikachu looking down on him. Still very dissatisfied. If it is accepted, it will not be a bully. Immediately waved his little short hand. Attacked Pikachu again. Pikachu sighed slightly and shook his head helplessly. He directly stretched out a small short hand, and firmly pressed it against the forehead of the little bully. No matter how Xiaobawang waved his hands, he couldn't touch Pikachu at all. No way, although Pikachu is also short-handed, its hands are even shorter. Chu Feng and others also caught up at this time. Lin Mailing walked up immediately, grabbed the little Bawang by the back of the neck, and picked up the little Bawang. Seeing Lin Mailing's frowning eyebrows and Rage's eyes, Xiaobawang finally calmed down. But his face was still very unconvinced. Possessing her little mouth and twisting her head, she let Lin Mailing glare at her like an idiot. This makes Lim Mei Ling fiery wrath even more. He raised his hand and slapped it on the buttocks. But this is no pain or itching for Xiaobawang. He stretched out his hand and scratched his little butt, not caring. This made Lin Mailing completely helpless. This little fool, if you talk to it in a soft voice, it won't listen at all. Hit it, and it doesn't care at all. It is a hob meat, and a dead pig is not afraid of boiling water. Lin Mailing couldn't bear to be cruel. After all, in her opinion, this little guy is always a baby, just a bit of a jerk. At this moment, Chu Feng stretched out his hand, and took Xiaobawang from Lin Mailing's hand. Seeing Chu Feng, little overlord finally got a little scared. Unlike Lin Mailing, Chu Feng really knew how to deal ruthlessly. Little overlord remembered one time. I don't know which tendon is cramped. Sneak into Chu Feng's dormitory here. Go and steal Pikachu's toys. As a result, electricity burned a piece of paper full of words on the table. I still remember Chu Feng's face at that time. It's all green. Lock it directly in a small dark room. There was neither light nor sound. Only regular water and food. Three full days. At first Xiaobawang felt that this kind of punishment was not painful. Nothing like punishment. After a few hours. Only to find that this kind of punishment is definitely the cruelest punishment it can imagine. That feeling of boundless silence and boundless darkness. Almost made it go crazy. I still remember being released. It definitely has a doom and gloom feel to it. Since then, the fear of Chu Feng has arisen. In fact, Chu Feng also felt that punishment was a bit too heavy that time. After all, closing the small black room for a long time will really cause some psychological shadows that cannot be cured in a lifetime. But at that time, he was really too angry. After all, those data are the experimental data of his dozens of experiments on the Growlithe gene seed. It took him a lot of time and effort. As a result, this little guy burned it all at once. Who is not angry? Seeing the little bully gradually lowering his head under his gaze, Chu Feng didn't intend to do anything to it, but Frillish said. Admit your mistakes, stand at attention when you are beaten, cancel the fruit you have for dinner today, and use it as an apology for the little guy who was robbed by you. If you dare to revenge afterwards, the little black room warns you. The little overlord, who had already started thinking about how to revenge that little guy, immediately froze when he heard the warning from the little black room. 
Never dare to think of revenge again. Seeing the impotent little bully, Chu Feng nodded in satisfaction, and turned to look at Zhang Yaoting. How about this little overlord, is it pleasing to the eye? If it is pleasing to the eye, take it away. Hearing this sentence, Xiaobuang immediately looked at Zhang Yaoting. It knew very early on that sooner or later, it would leave here and have a master. I don't mind it too much. After looking at Zhang Yaoting, he found that this guy smiled very politely, so he snorted disdainfully. Not its dish. It feels that if it wants to be its master, at least it has to be similar to its personality, a Hideki person. That's right, in its view, it is very Hideki and informal. It never occurred to me that I was actually a little fool. And the little guy's disdainful snort made Zhang Yaoting more interested. But no decision was made immediately. Because he wants to get the approval of the little bully, so that he will willingly recognize himself as the master. So he opened his mouth and said to Chu Feng. It's a very interesting little guy, I like it very much, but it seems that it doesn't recognize me, I think it is necessary for me to stay with it for a while, and take it away after I get its approval, otherwise if I don't bring it home, I'm afraid it will make a fuss in my family. Chu Feng said with a smile. It's not easy to get the approval of this bully, at least I think there is no hope in a short time. Zhang Yaoting laughed and said. It's okay, anyway, I have nothing to do during this period of time, I can spend it with it, but this requires you to allow me to stay here for a while. Chu Feng laughed and said. It's a trivial matter, so how about it, if you have nothing to do, stay here for a while, and take it away when you get the approval of the little bully. That would be great. In this way, Zhang Yaoting settled down here, and began to fight a protracted war with Xiaobawang. At the same time, he also seemed to recognize Xiaobawang, and directly paid 300,000 to Chu Feng. 250,000 is used to buy Xiaobawang, and the other 50,000 is used for accommodation and food expenses in Pokemon Manor. Chu Feng didn't want to accept the 50,000 yuan, after all, the two parties were friends after all, and Chu Feng would feel bad about collecting accommodation and food expenses. And 50,000 yuan for accommodation and food is too expensive. But Zhang Yaoting insisted on giving it. He also said that the accommodation and food expenses of 50,000 yuan are not expensive at all for Pokemon Manor. In the end Chu Feng did not persuade Zhang Yaoting, and reluctantly accepted 300,000 yuan. As a result, as soon as the money arrived, the system sounded. Congratulations to the host for successfully selling the first Pokemon, and a special reward for the host with a big gift bag. Although Fatty had already taken a Pichu in Pokemon Manor before, it was a minibus. But that was for Fatty, not for sale. So this little overlord is the first Pokemon that Chu Feng actually sold. To be honest, Chu Feng never expected to get a big gift package when he sold his first Pokemon. So when I heard the prompt from the system, I was very surprised. Then came the surprise. He hurriedly found a reason to avoid the big item potent people, came to an empty corner, and said. Open the big gift bag. Ding, congratulations to the host for obtaining the Caterpie genetic data. Ding, congratulations to the host for obtaining the Weedle genetic data. Ding, congratulations to the host for obtaining the Rattata genetic data. Ding, congratulations to the host for obtaining the Pokemon Medical Encyclopedia. Obtaining the genetic information of three Pokemon Pokemon at once, although none of them are precious Pokemon Pokemon, Chu Feng was pleasantly surprised. At the same time, the Pokemon Pokemon Medical Encyclopedia also made Chu Feng ecstatic. Chu Feng had long considered that if there are more Pokemon, illness and injury will inevitably occur. If there is no corresponding medical technology, it will definitely be a big problem. Now with the Pokemon Medical Encyclopedia, although it will not work in a short time, at least there are means. At the same time, after receiving the Pokemon Medical Encyclopedia, Chu Feng also began to think about how to cultivate Nurse Joy. But that's another story, and there's no rush right now. Soon, three days passed. The Pokemon Pokemon Order event that countless people are looking forward to is finally about to start. Someone opened the Pokemon Pokemon official website early on and clicked on the order page. It was not yet 7 o'clock. So the order campaign hasn't started yet. At this time, there is only one picture on the order page, which is the picture of Little Pichu. There's an order button below, but it's not clickable right now. 
At the same time, the price of little Pichu has finally been marked. 250,000. The price immediately caused an uproar on the internet. No one expected that the price of little Pichu would be so cheap. Then there is ecstasy. Many people do not expect to be able to afford a small Pichu. For the ordering activities of Pokemon Pokemon, it is just to watch. But now that he found that he could afford the price, he immediately went crazy. They don't know why the Pokemon company priced little Pichu so low. I don't want to know either. Just excited for the chance to buy little Pichu. Of course, some people were not happy. They are rich people. Originally they thought that little Pichu would definitely be expensive and not many people could compete with them. Now they find that the small Pichu is only sold for 250,000 yuan, which makes their chances of buying a small Pichu smaller by thousands or tens of thousands of times. After all, only 998 small Pichus are sold, and there are 250,000 people in the whole country. Although I dare not say that there are tens of millions, there are at least several million. Even if there are still some people who don't know about Pokemon, or are not interested, at least there are hundreds of thousands of people who can spend 250,000 and want to buy it. How this cheers them up. They don't care about money. Compared with the little Pichu selling for only 250,000, they hope that the little Pichu can be sold for hundreds of millions. That way they have a much better chance of getting a little Pichu. But no matter whether they are happy or not, Little Pichu only sells for 250,000 after all, and it cannot be changed. Pokemon Pokemon Building, Top Floor, Chairman's Office. Chu Feng and Amimi are concentrating on the final summary work before the first Pokemon order event. Pikachu and Pai Yi Pai Er Pai San were playing carelessly on the sofa beside them. I don't know what to grab for a sofa pillow. There are several besides, so do I have to get that one. Is Dongfeng Express ready? After sorting out all the workflows, seeing that there was no problem, Chu Feng nodded and asked Da Mimi. Da Mimi opened the mouth and said. Dongfeng Express has stated that they will allocate a special express channel for us to ensure that every Pokemon will be delivered to customers without any mistakes. Dedicating a special delivery channel is enough to prove the importance that Dongfeng Express attaches to Pokemon. But Chu Feng was still a little worried, and said. How about this? When delivering the goods, we specially send one of our employees to take care of the car. We must let our own employees personally deliver the little Pichu to the customer. Hearing what Chu Feng said, Da Mimi thought about it, and felt that it was more reliable, so he nodded. Okay, let's do it like this. After the order is over, I will go to negotiate with Dongfeng Express. Finally. It's almost 7 o'clock. At this time, there are countless people in various parts of China who are actively preparing. In an ordinary neighborhood, Qin Xiaoyu and his elder brother Qin Ming were sitting in front of the computer. Looking at the price on the Pokemon order page, Xiaoyu hesitated. Brother, let's not buy it, shall we? Although I really want a little Pichu, 250,000 is almost all your savings over the years. Save it for me to marry a sister-in-law, after all, you are 30 years old. Qin Ming touched Xiao Yu's head with a smile, and said with a smile. It's okay, it's only 250,000. My brother has the financial ability. Since my sister likes it, I have to buy it. Besides, 250,000 is far below the value that little Pichu should have. This price is very abnormal. I think this is probably because this is the first sale of Pokemon Pokemon and the Pokemon Pokemon company deliberately sold it at a low price in order to gain fame. Wait until the second event and it won't be that price, so this might be our only chance to afford a little Pichu. If you lose money, you can make it again. There is only one chance. There are many people who think like Qin Ming. After all, the price of 250,000 yuan is too low in anyone's eyes compared to Pichu's excellence. Hearing what her brother said, Xiao Yu nodded after thinking about it, and stopped persuading her. In a small villa, a family of five, including a nanny, all gathered in one room. Except for the grandmother, everyone had a computer in front of them. They want to get a little Pichu for their little princess. For this purpose, even the grandfather, who is already in his seventies, joined the battle. Mom, Dad, Grandpa and Aunt Shen, you must help me get it. I really want a little Pichu. A girl about 15 or 16 years old, 
wearing a gothic costume, said pleadingly. Grandpa fondled the girl's head and said. Don't worry, Niunyu, Grandpa will definitely grab it for you. The only old lady who didn't have a computer in front of her also said dotingly. Don't worry, Niunyu, your father and the others will definitely get you little Pichu, otherwise they will break your father's leg. The little girl's father looked bitterly at his mother and said. Mom, you should break my leg right now. There are estimated to be hundreds of thousands of people waiting to snap up, and the number is only 998. The chances are too small. Aren't you embarrassing me? The old grandma stared. I don't care, you have to get it for my Niu Niu, otherwise you will look good. Hearing this, the girl's father and his wife looked at each other, feeling a little helpless. The little girl also knew that the chances were very small, but she was full of expectations. Staring at the computer in front of him intently, counting the seconds silently, holding the mouse tightly in his hand, once the time is reached, he will click the left button of the mouse as soon as possible. She is underage and not eligible to purchase. An ID is required to order Pokemon. So she is using her grandma's ID card now. The same scene was staged in countless places throughout China. Finally, there was only one minute left before 7 o'clock. Inside the Pokemon building, all the staff lifted their spirits. Chu Feng and Amimi stared at the order page even more closely, not daring to blink their eyes. Ten seconds left. Chu Feng began to count down silently in his heart. Throughout China, countless people are silently counting down. Ten. Nine. Eight. Countless people put their hands on the mouse at this moment, their expressions were tense, and their palms were sweating. Seven. Six. Five. Countless people's eyes widened, and there were faint signs of blood congestion inside. 4. 3. 2. The hands of countless people began to tremble, and a heart rose to their throats. 1. The order button on the order page lights up. In an instant, countless roars erupted from all over the country, and countless people clicked the left mouse button at the same time. In less than 0.1 second, the number on the little Pichu picture changed from 998 to 0. Chu Feng was a little confused. Although he knows that there must be many people who want to buy Little Pichu. But I didn't expect it to sell out so quickly. It sold out almost instantly. Da Mimi was also very surprised, and then excitedly hugged Chu Feng and jumped. It sold out, it sold out in a flash, it's amazing, it's amazing. Chu Feng, who had reacted, comforted the agitated Da Mimi with a smile on the corner of his mouth. Basic exercise, don't be six. Screw you. Da Mimi, who had reacted, smiled and pushed Chu Feng. At the same time, the internet has exploded. What's going on? I haven't realized it yet. 998 are gone. Me too, isn't this too fast? Trough, what kind of animals are they? It didn't take a second. It's more than a second, it's almost gone in an instant, probably less than 0.1 second. Nima, these people who snatched it have been single for how many years, so fast? I, who have been solo for 26 years, said that my hand speed is completely incomparable with those animals. My mother, why is it so fast, my little Pichu is gone. Within a district. After frantically clicking the left mouse button. Brothers and sisters Qin Ming and Xiao Yu looked nervously at the Pokemon ordering page, not daring to blink. At this moment, a little Pichu suddenly appeared on the screen. After looking around, it smiled at the screen and cried happily. Pichu. At the same time, a large number of fireworks special effects appeared on the screen. A pop-up appears. Congratulations, you have ordered a small Pichu, please read the contract below carefully, and click to confirm the purchase. The siblings stared at each other in silence for a few seconds. Instantly jumped up excitedly. Especially Xiao Yu, like a madman. It took a long time for the two of them to calm down their excitement, click to open the contract, without looking at it, just scroll to the end, and click to confirm. Inside the small villa, girls in gothic costumes look like little princesses, normal, staring expectantly at the computer screen. Suddenly, a little Pichu appeared on the computer screen. Seeing this scene, the girl's heart suddenly became excited. This is the rhythm of successful ordering. However, at this moment, little Pichu's cute face suddenly collapsed, and he cried out full of regret. Pichu. A pop-up pops up. It's a pity that you didn't order Pichu, please make persistent efforts next time. 
The girl instantly petrified, and was speechless for a long time. Gradually, tears began to roll in the eyes. After a while, she cried aggrievedly. Why, why, my little Pichu, the Pokemon Pokemon Company is so annoying, woo woo woo. Seeing her good granddaughter crying, Grandma quickly went up to comfort her distress Edley, and said. It's okay, my good granddaughter, don't cry, there is still a chance, your father and grandpa will definitely grab it. Hearing this, the girl quickly jumped up from her seat, wiped away her tears, and looked expectantly at her parents, grandfather, and nanny. As a result, the nanny shook her head first, with a helpless expression on her face. Grandpa also sighed. Mom looked disappointed, and Dad was expressionless. Seeing this scene, the girl's heart dropped, and tears came out of her eyes again. At this moment, the expressionless father suddenly covered his heart and said with a heartache. I feel sorry for my 25W. Everyone was startled, and the girl's eyes widened instantly, staring straight at her father. Father laughed and pointed to his computer screen. I think if I'm not mistaken, this should mean that my order was successful. Everyone quickly looked at the computer in front of the girl's father. Sure enough, I saw fireworks all over the screen, a happy Pichu, and a bullet box. It says, Congratulations, you have ordered a small Pichu, please read the contract below carefully, and click to confirm the purchase. Ah, the girl screamed unpreparedly, hugged her father's neck in an instant, and kissed her father's face suddenly. Dad, you are amazing, I am so excited, I can have a little Pichu. At this time, a large number of comments began to explode on the internet. What the hell, this special effect, I'm just kidding. This special effect is really cheap. It's a pity, I didn't buy it, my little Pichu, woo woo woo. These guys are too crazy, how did you practice this hand speed? The mother and fetus have been single for 30 years, and you can have it too. Has anyone bought it yet? Come out and show off. Ha ha ha, I bought it, I bought it, post a picture for you guys to take a look. You beast. Although I'm an animal, I'm so envious, my little brother turns purple with envy. Countless people who had successfully placed orders began to post pictures on the internet one after another, instantly arousing the envy and jealousy of countless people. Who knows? Just then, a big event happened on the internet. Everyone go to Weibo, there is a rich man who added V and said that if someone who snapped up Little Pichu is willing to sell it, he is willing to pay 1 million to buy Little Pichu. This news instantly detonated countless people. 1 million, no. Although I think the value of Little Pichu is far more than 1 million, but in fact the selling price is only 250,000. With this financial resources, it is not a bad idea to just take the money and go through the back door of the Pokemon company. Okay. Not really, I have a cousin who works for the Pokemon company. She said that their boss, Chu Feng, has already sent a message to prevent any form of backdoor, except for gifts from him, or what he promised before. Anyone who wants to the only way to buy Pokemon is to snap it up during the pre-order event. It's impossible, is there such a company, such a boss? It seems to be true. My aunt is the manager of a certain big celebrity. That big celebrity has a good relationship with Big Mimi. She once called Big Mimi to buy a small Pichu in advance, but she was directly rejected Big Mimi's refusal. And according to my aunt, not only the big celebrity, but also many celebrities or directors who have a good relationship with Big Mimi in the entertainment industry have called Big Mimi, wanting to go through the back door, without exception they were all rejected. It's real or not, da MIMI is so tough. Isn't she afraid that she won't be able to get along in the entertainment industry? I guess she's really so fresh, think about who her boyfriend is, Chu Feng, the youngest honorary academician of the Academy of Sciences, the developer of genetic biotechnology, the creator of Pokemon Pokemon, the big boss of the Pokemon Pokemon company, although Chu Feng does not seem to be on the surface, it is because he is too low-key. In fact, Chu Feng is too fool. Do some people in the mere entertainment circle dare to mess with his girlfriend? Probably Wang Da at least his father would not dare to show off in front of him. If you think about it this way, it's true. Judging from this ordering activity, the Pokemon Pokemon company will definitely grow into a giant in the future, and there is even a great possibility that Chu Feng will become the richest man in China or even the world's richest man in the future. I don't think it's possible. 
Thinking about the excellence of Pokemon, Chufang will 100% become the world's richest man in the future. Nima, it's numb. So that means, is there really a big shot who is willing to pay 1 million to buy little Pichu from someone else? It's not enough, there are already big bosses bidding 500 W. Your news is behind, now it's 1000 W. No way, this little Pichu is not only sold this time, but once every three months, although the price this time may be discounted because of the first sale, the second sale will be restore the original price, but no matter how high it is, it can't be as high as 10 million, right? Are these big guys in such a hurry? Who knows what they think, if you know, you are a boss. As the big guys on the internet offer higher and higher prices. Some people who ordered small Pichu started to get restless. Although they especially like little Pichu. I am reluctant to resell the little Pichu I ordered to others. But the other party gave too much. And there are many people who order small Pichu, but they are not too rich. Buying a small Pichu cost most of his net worth. At present, the highest price on the internet has reached 12 million. Moreover, he is also a boss certified by Weibo, so the possibility of being a scammer is very small. 1200 W ah. If you don't spend too much, you can eat and drink for a lifetime without worrying about it. Finally, someone couldn't help but want to contact the bigwigs on the internet. And at this moment, Pokemon Pokemon's official website updated an announcement, which instantly triggered earthquake on the internet. Dear customers, our company has found out that someone on the internet has quoted a high price and wants to repurchase the Pokemon that our company sells to customers. Our company hereby makes a kind reminder to customers, before deciding whether to resell Pokemon Pokemon, please read carefully the Pokemon Pokemon sales contract issued by our company to avoid some things that our company does not want to see. The announcement of the Pokemon Pokemon company spread throughout the internet in a very short period of time. What does it mean? Has any of you read the contract carefully? Who is a normal person who would read the contract carefully? I think it's better to have a look. Everyone, read article 23 of the contract. What's wrong? Nima, what this article means is that people who bought Pokemon can't resell Pokemon, otherwise Pokemon company has the right to take back Pokemon and no refund will be given. There's still this rule. Seeing this regulation, many bigwigs who wanted to buy Pokemon Pokemon from other people at a high price immediately scolded their mothers. The Pokemon company won't let you go through the back door, and won't let you buy from other people at a high price. What kind of company is this? Many people who wanted to sell the little Pichu in their hands to the boss at a high price also scolded their mothers. Slot Nima's Pokemon Pokemon company does not make money by itself, and does not allow others to make money. It is really sick. And there are many people on the internet who are extremely happy. I was very jealous of those who bought the little Pichu. When I heard that there are bigwigs on the internet begging for a small Pichu at a high price, I am even more envious of those lucky people who can earn enough money for a lifetime without doing anything. Seeing those lucky people whose way of getting rich is blocked by Pokemon Pokemon Company, I feel very happy. One lucky guy was very dissatisfied. Although he liked little Pichu very much, he preferred 12 million yuan. Seeing that he was framed by the contract, he immediately asked questions on the internet. Why do I feel that this clause is a bit like an overlord clause? Is there any friend who understands the law to take a look and see if this contract is legal? If it is not legal, I will sue it immediately. Brother upstairs, I support you, sue. I'm a lawyer. I just carefully read the contract issued by Pokemon Pokemon Company. It can be said that there is no loophole and it is completely in line with the laws of our country. Therefore, I will definitely not win if I sue. Instead, I will cause a lot of trouble. And don't forget, 30% of the shares of Pokemon Pokemon Company are in the hands of the state, it can be said to be a semi-state-owned enterprise, false swipe, think for yourself. Ah, uh, Nima, what a fart. It's actually pretty good. One side is Little Pichu, and the other side is 12 million. It's really hard to choose, so I don't have to worry about it. Everyone, hurry up and catch an animal that is so fast. In fact, Chu Feng's purpose of doing this is to better control who owns each Pokemon, so that he can organize a visiting group to check the status of Pokemon. Chu Feng knew that with the bad nature of human beings, there would definitely be abuse and abandonment of Pokemon in the future. 
This cannot be completely avoided, and Chu Feng can only minimize it. Regularly organizing visiting groups to visit every household is one of the means to avoid this happening. Of course, organizing a visiting group is not just for this. It is also to help customers solve the difficulties encountered in feeding Pokemon Pokemon. It is an after-sales protection behavior. At this time, the topic of Pokemon Pokemon sales contracts continues on the internet. The lawyer upstairs, since you can't resell it, can you give it away? Lawyer. Brothers upstairs, I have already said that there is no loophole in the contract issued by the Pokemon Pokemon company. Your behavior of exploiting loopholes is completely unworkable. Article 26 of the Pokemon Pokemon sales contract clearly states that, except for reasons of force majeure, any form of transfer will be regarded as a transaction, and the Pokemon will be forcibly taken back. Are you so overbearing? May I ask the lawyer upstairs, what conditions can satisfy force majeure? Lawyer. The current owner of Pokemon Pokemon is unable to raise Pokemon Pokemon, and it will be regarded as force majeure. For example, if there is a sudden accidental death, then his Pokemon Pokemon can be inherited by the heir according to the inheritance law. Another example, sudden serious illness, no longer able to raise Pokemon Pokemon, then you can designate a person to get this Pokemon Pokemon. So does it mean that if I have a Pokemon and I have a serious illness and can no longer keep it, can I give it to other people? Of course, if that person insists on thanking me, give it to me. I have a lot of money, the Pokemon Pokemon company shouldn't be in control, right? Lawyer. It is theoretically possible, but you must have a serious illness that can no longer raise Pokemon Pokemon. In this regard, the Pokemon Pokemon company will strictly review it, and when you transfer Pokemon Pokemon to others, you must also only people from the Pokemon Pokemon company can witness it. This contract is really strict enough. Lawyer. Actually, there are many clauses in the Pokemon Pokemon sales contract that deserve attention. Like Article 12, if a Pokemon Pokemon has been mistreated, the Pokemon Pokemon company has the right to forcibly take back the Pokemon Pokemon, and there will be no refund. Article 15, if the Pokemon Pokemon is injured or sick, and the owner is passive and inactive, the Pokemon Pokemon company has the right to forcibly take back the Pokemon Pokemon on the basis of returning half of the payment. Ding, it is detected that the host has successfully sold more than 100 small Pichus, meeting the conditions for unlocking Pokemon Pokemon, and now unlocking Pokemon Pokemon for the host. Unlocking, please wait a moment. Unlocked successfully. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the genetic data of Pokemon Bulbasaur. Currently unlocked Pokemon by the host, Pichu, Growlithe, Caterpie, Weedle, Rattata, Bulbasaur. Indirect unlocks. Pikachu, Metapod, Butterfree, Kakuna, Beedrill, Raticate, Ivysaur, Venusaur. Because Raichu and Arcanine need evolution stones to evolve, while Chu Feng does not currently have evolution stones and does not know how to obtain evolution stones, so they are not counted. Mastered, Pichu, Growlithe. Not Mastered, Caterpie, Weedle, Rattata, Bulbasaur. Hearing the system's notification tone, Chu Feng was extremely excited but it doesn't show up on the surface. Very calmly said to Da Mimi beside him. Mimi, I'll give you an order later, collect all the customer information as soon as possible, arrange the escort work for Little Pichu, and make sure to deliver Little Pichu to all customers within three days. Da Mimi nodded, and suddenly became a little emotional again. To be honest, I'm a bit reluctant to send those little guys out. What do you think if the little ones can't adapt to the new family? What if the little ones are being abused? I can't think about it, and the more I think about it, the more uneasy I become. Looking at Da Mimi who suddenly became emotional, Chu Feng stretched out his hand to embrace her in his arms, and comforted her. Don't worry, under normal circumstances, the little guy with a new family will definitely be taken care of better than in the manor. After all, taking care of dozens of little guys alone is definitely not as good as one person or even a few people taking care of one little guy. As for adaptation, except for a few, most Pokemon are highly adaptable, so don't worry too much about it. And if you have been abused, don't worry, I will never make it easier for those who abuse little Pichu. As he said that, a stern look flashed in his eyes. Feel Chu Feng's comfort, and the last overbearing words. 
Da Mimi only thinks her man is so handsome, gentle and domineering. Unconsciously a little confused. It's so kind of you. The lips slowly climbed up Chu Feng's cheek. Chu Feng chuckled, and hugged Da Mimi by the waist. Under the astonished eyes of Pikachu and Pai Yi Pai or Pai San. Kick open the door of the office cubicle and lock it. The office cubicle, which had never been used since its construction, finally came in handy. I have to say that expensive has its own reasons. The sound insulation of this material is really good. In a second tier city. On the wide and crowded street, a vehicle with the logo of Dongfeng Express and a red and white ball logo is driving smoothly on the street. On both sides of the road, from time to time, pedestrians cast their eyes on this vehicle, their eyes full of envy. The vehicles of Dongfeng Express will naturally not attract the attention and envy of pedestrians. But the red and white ball logo can. Because that's the logo of the Pokemon Pokemon Company. To be honest, many people don't understand why the Pokemon Pokemon Company set the logo as a red and white ball. It seems that it has nothing to do with Pokemon Pokemon. But it is easy to remember, which should be regarded as an advantage. Why did the logo of the Pokemon Pokemon Company appear on the car of Dongfeng Express? What cooperation do these two companies have? A passerby asked the companion next to him. The companion gave him a blank stare. Think about the Pokemon Pokemon Company's previous order activities, and you will know what cooperation between the two of them. Hearing this, the passerby immediately reacted and looked at the car with envy. So, this car is here to give away Pokemon. Lucky people in our city have snatched little Pichu. What luck. The vehicle quickly drove into an ordinary community, which immediately caused exclamation in the community. If I'm not mistaken, this should be a car for Pokemon, right? Is there a lucky person in our community who got a little Pichu? Who is it? Does anyone know who the lucky guy is? I really didn't expect that in an ordinary community like ours, someone would be willing to spend 250,000 yuan to buy a pet. What a local tyrant. In the car, there are two people sitting at this moment. One is the driver of Dongfeng Express, and the other is the delivery man of the Pokemon Pokemon Company. The driver listened to the constant exclamation in the community, smiled and said to the delivery man next to him. It seems that this lucky guy will soon enjoy the feeling of being trampled on the threshold of his family. The delivery man smiled proudly. Of course, this is the charm of our company's little Pichu. Seeing that the delivery man was so proud, the driver not only didn't feel bored, but was a little envious, and asked. I heard that your company's treatment is very good, is it true? The delivery man was also a talkative person, and immediately said. It depends on where you work. I don't know about other places. Anyway, at the company headquarters, even the sweeping lady has a basic salary of 12,000 a month. Hey, 12,000. The basic salary of 12,000 yuan a month for the sweeping ant really shocked the driver. You must know that he has been working so hard all over the country, and it is only a little over 10,000 a month plus bonuses. The salary of a sweeping ant on the other side is higher than his, which really makes him envious, and at the same time it is a bit uncomfortable. Immediately asked, is your company still recruiting people? To apply for a job in your company, what are the requirements? Do you think I have a chance? Hearing this, the delivery man was a little embarrassed, and after thinking about it, he opened his mouth and said. Hiring is always a matter of recruiting. Our company has been recruiting people. I heard from my boss that our boss plans to open several factories recently to manufacture gene culture tanks and gene culture fluids, as well as peripheral toys for little Pichu. A large number of employees are needed. Quote. As for the requirements, I don't know about other places, but in the head office, it seems that except for sweeping the floor and working in the kitchen, at least a bachelor's degree is required, but I think the requirements for other places should not be so high. Hearing this, the driver nodded thoughtfully, not knowing what he was thinking. Soon, the courier car drove to a building downstairs. It stopped completely. The delivery man opened the door and got out of the car. Then opened the trunk. There are six red and white balls with a normal size, such as two basketballs added together, with very good air permeability. Are all fixed on one device. Inside the red and white ball is little Pichu. There was no movement at this time, and they should have fallen asleep. The delivery man took down a red and white ball, 
which seemed to wake up the little guy inside, and a slightly confused cute growl came out. Hi, Mount. Hearing this cute growl, the delivery man smiled and said softly. Little guy, you're going to your new home soon, aren't you happy? Hi, Mount. This time the voice was much more energetic, and it was obvious that the little guy was completely over-smelling salts. Okay, let's go see your new master now, don't worry, he will treat you well. The delivery man smiled, and after saying a word, walked into the building under the watchful eyes of a large number of residents who had gathered at some point. Take the elevator and soon come to the fourth floor. As soon as the elevator opened, the delivery man saw an extremely excited girl waiting outside the elevator, looking straight at him, to be precise, at the red and white ball in his hand. After being slightly taken aback, the delivery man immediately reacted, smiled and said. May I ask what is your relationship with Mr. Chin Ming? Xiao Yu replied excitedly. He's my brother. Then he stared straight at the red and white ball in the arms of the delivery man, and asked with a trembling tone. Is. Is there little Pichu in there? The delivery man smiled and nodded, then walked out of the elevator, but instead of handing the red and white ball to Xiao Yu, he said. Where's your brother? Xiao Yu quickly replied. He thought you would arrive in half an hour, so he went out to buy toys and snacks for little Pichu. While talking, his eyes never left the red and white ball in the hand of the delivery man. Hearing this, the delivery man looked down at his watch and nodded. It was indeed half an hour earlier than the scheduled time. Then he smiled and whispered to the little Pichu who was quiet in the red and white ball. Your master has prepared toys and snacks for you, are you happy? Hi, Mount. A cute growl who was both happy and a little nervous came from the ball. Hearing this growl, Xiao Yu was very excited and couldn't wait to take the ball from the delivery man. However, the delivery man dodged it, which made Xiao Yu a little puzzled. The delivery man smiled and said. I'm sorry, although I believe you are Mr. Chin Ming's younger sister, but our company has regulations that I must hand over little Pichu to Mr. Chin Ming, so. Xiao Yu was obviously taken aback for a moment, then nodded. Although she couldn't wait to get her little Pichu, she understood what the delivery man was doing. After all, this is little Pichu. You can't be too careful. So he could only anxiously wait for Chin Ming's return. At this moment, the elevator door opened again, and Chin Ming appeared in front of the two of them with big bags and small bags on his face full of excitement. When he was downstairs he knew his little Pichu had arrived. The transport vehicle with the logo of Dongfeng Express and the logo of the Pokemon Pokemon Company, as well as the crowd of people discussing downstairs, have clearly demonstrated this point. Excuse me, is this Mr. Chin Ming? Seeing this man with big and small bags full of excitement, the delivery man immediately asked. Chin Ming nodded excitedly, handed the big and small bags in his hand to his younger sister Xiao Yu, and quickly took out his ID card from his clothes. Look. The delivery man took it over and looked at it carefully before handing the ID card back to Chin Ming. Sorry, it's little Pichu after all, I have to be cautious. Chin Ming nodded in understanding, then stretched out his hands excitedly. Then now, the delivery man smiled and put the red and white ball in Chin Ming's outstretched hands. Congratulations on getting a little Pichu. Then he took out a list and a pen from his pocket. Of course, before that, you have to sign the receipt first. Chin Ming quickly handed the red and white balls to his excited younger sister who had already placed the big and small bags on the ground, took the receipt and quickly signed it, and then handed it back to the delivery man. Is it okay? The delivery man didn't pick it up, but took out his mobile phone and said with a smile. There is one last process, please paste the receipt on the Pokemon logistics box, and then hold the Pokemon logistics box, I need to take a photo. Chin Ming hurriedly followed what he said. The delivery man took the phone and pressed the shutter on Chin Ming, took a look, saw that the photo was very clear, and could clearly see Chin Ming's signature on the receipt so he put away the phone in satisfaction, raised his hand and tore off the sticker. The receipt on the Pokemon logistics box. Congratulations, this little Pichu is yours. Thank you very much. After sending the delivery man away, Chin Ming and Xiao Yu returned home quickly. Put the red and white ball on the table and open it carefully. As the red and white ball is opened, a little Pichu poked its head out cautiously, showing its cute, furry face to Chin Ming and Xiao Yu's eyes. 
A pair of round, watery eyes like obsidian were full of anticipation and a trace of fear of strangers. Brothers and sisters Qin Ming and Xiao Yu were immediately struck by the cuteness of little Pichu. Thinking of such a cute little guy, he will be his new family in the future. Immediately, I feel that my life is full of happiness. He looked at a man and a woman in front of him. Little Pichu knows that they will be his masters in the future. Although a little scared, but he still had the courage to lift up his short furry hand. He took the lead in saying hello to Qin and Ming brothers and sisters. Pichu. Little Pichu's voice suddenly awakened the two siblings who were immersed in happiness. Xiao Yu pulled Qin Ming's clothes and said in surprise. Brother, look, look, little Pichu is greeting us, it's so cute and smart. Qin Ming was also very pleasantly surprised at this time, but facing his younger sister who had been raised since childhood, he had to maintain the demeanor of an elder brother like a father, so he couldn't act too pleasantly surprised. I got it, I got it, little Pichu is cute and smart, do you need to say it? Is this known to everyone? To the new environment and new owner. Xiao Yu gave Qin Ming a supercilious look. Then he looked at the little Pichu who was still afraid to come out of the red and white sphere, and stretched out his hands eagerly. Baby, can I give you a hug? Xiao Yu's sudden action obviously frightened little Pichu, and his little body shrank slightly in the box. Seeing this, Qin Ming immediately whispered to Xiao Yu. Don't be so startled, look, did you scare little Pichu? Then he softly whispered to the little Pichu who was huddled in the box. Little guy, don't be afraid, this will be your home from now on, Xiao Yu and I will definitely take good care of you. As he spoke, he seemed to think of something, turned around and rummaged through the big and small bags he bought, and soon found a small cream cake. Holding the cream cake, he smiled and said softly to the little Pichu in the box. Look, this is a small cake I specially bought for you, do you want to eat it? Little Pichu, who was still a little scared at first, saw the small cream cake in Qin Ming's hand, his eyes lit up immediately, and a small hand unconsciously stretched into his mouth. It remembered that it had eaten a small cream cake a few times in the manor, and the sweet taste was still fresh in its memory. The captivate of delicious food immediately made little Pichu let go of the fear of strangers in strange environments. Slowly leaning over, lying on the edge of the box. Although the red and white ball looks round as a whole, its bottom is flat and can be placed on the table steadily. In addition, the little guy is light in weight, so he lay on the edge of the box without weighing the box down. Turn. The little guy just lay on the edge of the box, biting his fingers, and looked straight at Qin Ming, to be precise, at the little cream cake in Qin Ming's hand. Then he looked up at Qin Ming and Xiao Yu who looked expectant and eager. Seeing their friendly faces, the eyes they looked at me were also very eager and loving. The last bit of fear in my heart gradually dissipated. A smile appeared on the furry little face. He yelled happily at Qin Ming. Pichu. Then he opened his mouth to Qin Ming. Ah. It looked like a two or three year old baby waiting to be fed. Qin Ming and Xiao Yu were immediately overwhelmed by the cute little guy waiting to be fed. Especially Xiao Yu, the whole face was directly congested with excitement, and it was all red. Holding Qin Ming's arm tightly, he urged. It's so cute, so cute, bro, feed it quickly, feed it quickly. There is no need for Xiao Yu to urge, the little guy is waiting to be fed with his mouth open, if the food is not put into the little guy's mouth immediately, making the little guy wait anxiously, Qin Ming will feel sorry for the whole world. Immediately pulled off the plastic cover of the butter cake, picked up the attached plastic fork, picked up a piece of cream, and tremblingly sent it into the little guy's open mouth. As soon as the little guy closed his mouth, pursed his lips, and touched the cream with his tongue, he instantly felt the sweetness in his heart, and narrowed his eyes comfortably. And such a cute little gesture naturally made Qin Ming and Xiao Yu feel elated. The next second, the little guy happily opened his mouth to Qin Ming again. I'll do it, I'll do it, brother, let me do it, let me do it. Before Qin Ming could feed the little guy again, Xiao Yu grabbed Qin Ming's shoulder and shook it excitedly. Qin Ming was somewhat reluctant to hand over the job of feeding little Pichu to others. The little guy is really cute. Feeding it is an incomparable pleasure. But in the end, he handed the cream cake and the fork to Xiao Yu. After all, she was the younger sister whom she raised as a child and loved as a daughter. And little Pichu was originally bought just for her. Xiao Yu was so excited. 
Feed the custard to little Pichu spoonful after spoonful. Little Pichu naturally does not refuse anyone. Once the cake in your mouth is finished, they will open their mouths wide and wait to be fed. It makes it feel comfortable. When I was in the manor before, except when someone would feed me before the full moon, I ate by myself afterwards. How can I be so comfortable now? As long as you open your mouth, food will come in automatically. Just for this, it is now more and more satisfied with this new home, more and more satisfied with these two new owners. The only thing that makes the little guy a little dissatisfied. It's just that Xiao Yu's hands are shaking too much. Every time the cream is fed, it will stick to its little furry face more or less. A few times down, it made it all over the face, sticky, a little uncomfortable. As a last resort, it can only stick out its tongue to lick it from time to time, but some can't lick at all. Finally, Xiaoyu finished feeding the small cream cake in her hand. The expression was a little pity, she hadn't enjoyed enough to feed the little guy yet. Then I saw the little guy being fed cream all over his face, like a little cat. Immediately couldn't help laughing. This made the little guy a little angry. Called Xiaoyu rage a few times. Obviously, after this period of feeding, the little guy has adapted to this new family and new owner. Not so cautious anymore. Looking at the little Pichu who has obviously adapted a lot, Chinming also raised the corners of his mouth in comfort. Then, looking at its creamy little face, he couldn't help but shook his head with a wry smile, took out a tissue, and gently wiped off the cream on his face. At this moment, the little guy opened his two short hands to him. Chin Ming was stunned for a moment, and then hugged the little guy ecstatically. The little guy also happily drilled into his arms. Rubbing his neck with his little head was his way of expressing intimacy. This naturally made Chin Ming very excited. Feel the touch and itching in the neck. Just like a child of old age, normal became happy. Xiao Yu was naturally envious, and quickly stretched out her hand. Brother, let me hug, let me hug little Pichu, I haven't hugged it yet. Chin Ming smiled and said. It's useless for you to tell me, you have to ask little Pichu if he wants to be hugged by you. Hearing this, Xiao Yu quickly looked at the little Pichu in Chin Ming's arms, and said expectantly. Little guy, come into my arms. My arms are more comfortable than my brother's. Really, I won't lie to you. You are a puppy. Let me hug you. In the end, the little guy just turned his head and snorted at her, then buried his little head in Chin Ming's arms again. Apparently he hasn't forgotten about Xiao Yu laughing at it before. And Xiao Yu, who was rejected by the little guy without hesitation, was petrified on the spot. This little guy is so vengeful. Seeing this, Chin Ming hugged little Pichu and laughed heartily. He looked at the little Pichu in his arms, and then at Xiao Yu who looked disappointed and discouraged. I just think that 250,000 is worth it. Magic City. On the street. A black sedan is driving fast. From there the driving speed is tested back and forth on the verge of speeding. It can be seen that the owner of the car is in a hurry at this time. Heaven fails to fulfill one's wishes. The red light ahead came on. The owner of the car could only be forced to stop driving. We can see it in the mirror. The owner of the car is a middle-aged man about 40 years old. Wearing glasses and a suit, his face is hard and shrewd. Clearly a successful man. His name is Zhao He. I am the boss of a medium-sized clothing company. Net worth more than 1 billion. The place to rush to at this time is the First People's Hospital of Magic City. I looked at the red and white ball-shaped Pokemon Pokemon transport box on the co-pilot. Zhao He's anxious mood could not help but eased a little. I don't know what I thought of, and a smile appeared on the corner of my mouth. Little Pichu is so cute, it should be okay. Not knowing what to think of, the slightly evoked smile slowly faded away. Self-puffing. Absolutely. Soon. Pass the red light. Zhao He instantly stepped on the accelerator and rushed out. Originally 20 minutes away. Under Zhao He's intentional or unintentional speeding. It only took 15 minutes. Come to the hospital and park your car. Zhao He carefully lifted the Pokemon transport box out of the co-pilot. Even though Zhao He's movements were very gentle, he still disturbed the little guy in the transport box. Let out a lovely growl. Pichu. There is no fear of the unknown in growl. It can be seen that this little Pichu is very bold and outgoing. This made Zhao He very happy. Extroverted, bright and bold, little Pichu is just what he needs. 
The lips touched the red and white ball, and whispered to the little guy inside. Little guy, let's suffocate in it, wait a little longer, and I'll let you out in a while. Pichu. The little guy inside responded, and then fell silent. Seeing this, Zhao He immediately ran towards the inpatient department with the transport box in his arms. Pedestrians who meet along the way will all look at him, to be precise, at the Pokemon Pokemon transport box in his arms. From time to time there will be exclamations. Oh my god, isn't that the shipping box the Pokemon company uses to transport baby Pichu? Isn't there a baby Pichu in there? Most likely it should be. He snapped up little Pichu. This luck must have been favored by the goddess of luck. From time to time, someone wants to come forward to chat with Zhao Hepin, of course, the purpose must be for little Pichu. But Zhao He didn't want to chat with them at this time, and directly skipped those who wanted to chat with them. As soon as he walked to the inpatient department, Zhao He saw a person he was willing to spend a few minutes talking with. Immediately trot to catch up. It was a female doctor in a white coat, about 30 years old. At this time, the female doctor also saw Zhao He, and just about to say hello, she saw the Pokemon transport box in Zhao He's arms. His pupils widened slightly for a moment, and he immediately covered his open mouth in surprise, with excitement clearly flashing in his eyes. Couldn't this be? Pokemon Pichu. Dr. Lin, how is your little girl doing today? Is she feeling better? Zhao He hurried to the Dr. Lin, panted slightly, and asked a little nervously. Ever since he saw the Pokemon transport box in Zhao Heihui's arms, Dr. Lin's attention has been on the transport box. But at this time, when Zhao He mentioned the little girl, he immediately turned his attention away from the transport box. The excitement caused by the Pokemon Pokemon quickly calmed down, and then became a little depressed, shaking his head and sighing. It's still the same as before, depressed and withdrawn, and only eats a little food. With her mental condition and physical condition, she is far from meeting the requirements for a bone marrow transplant. Hearing this, Zhao He's face inevitably darkened for a moment, but he quickly recovered, after all, this result was already in his expectation. At this time, Dr. Lin had the opportunity to bring the topic to the Pokemon Pokemon transport box. Looking at the transport box in Zhao He's arms, he asked with some joy. Is there little Pichu in here? Mentioning little Pichu, Zhao He's face suddenly turned from worry to joy, nodded and said. That's right. Didn't you say that cute animals can adjust people's emotions, so let me try to buy some cute animals to accompany my little girl. I wanted to buy a well-behaved kitten or puppy, but suddenly I saw little Pichu on the news, and I immediately thought that if a little nanny can be accompanied by such a cute and smart little guy, it must be more useful than a kitten and puppy. So I tried to participate in the snap-up of little Pichu, and I didn't have much hope at first, but I guess it was God's blessing, and I really got it. Dr. Lin also nodded in surprise. Little Pichu is so cute, and has an intelligence not weaker than that of a 10-year-old human child. Having it by her side will definitely make her come out of that shadow and restore the innocence and liveliness she should have at her age, and then take care of your body and perform a bone marrow transplant. Hearing what Dr. Lin said, Zhao He was very excited, and said again and again. It's okay, it's okay, the little girl will get better. Looking at the excited Zhao He, Dr. Lin understood his current mood very well. So didn't interrupt him. After his mood eased down, he opened his mouth and said. Then let's go now, and send little Pichu to the little girl as soon as possible. Yes, let's go, let's go. While talking, Zhao He has already trotted towards the elevator quickly. Dr. Lin also hurriedly followed. Zhao He is six in his forties this year. At the age of 30, he was successful in starting a business. At the age of 38, he married a beautiful wife who was more beautiful than himself Arnold. The two are very much in love. At the age of 40, his wife gave birth to a baby girl for him. Name it Xiaonuan. The little girl is very cute. Cheerful, smart, very sensible, lovable. Zhao he can be regarded as a good old man. So I love my little girl very much. Hold it in your hand for fear of falling, hold it in your mouth for fear of melting. A bright jewel in the palm of your hand. At first glance, Zhao He can be said to have a happy life. However, God made a huge joke on him that broke him. Just two years ago, the little girl was diagnosed with leukemia. 
But God did not let him despair. Xiaonanan is suffering from acute lymphoblastic leukemia in children. It can be cured with a bone marrow transplant. And his bone marrow is a perfect match for the little girl. As long as the operation is successful, the little girl can regain her health. The little girl has a cheerful personality, and the disease has not affected her much. Under the care of her parents and doctors, she has maintained her body well. The doctor said that the probability of success of the operation is very high. However, on the day of surgery, a car accident. Let this already unfortunate family be even more unfortunate. Zhao He's wife died on the spot. The little girl was seriously injured and almost died from blood loss. He even witnessed his mother die in front of his own eyes. This blow. It cast a thick shadow over the little girl's young mind. From then on, the lively personality disappeared, became taciturn, and even suffered from autism. The body is also getting worse day by day. Such psychological and physical conditions obviously make bone marrow transplantation impossible. It can only be delayed again and again. Until now, the psychological and physical condition of the little girl still cannot meet the standards for bone marrow transplantation, and it is even getting worse. Holding the Pokemon transportation box, Dr. Zhao He and Dr. Lin quickly came to the special nursing room on the top floor of the inpatient department. Gently pushed the door open and looked inside. I saw a little Stephanie with a pale face, about six years old, sitting alone on the bed with blank eyes, very quiet and lifeless. The curtains were pulled tightly, no sunlight could penetrate, and it was gloomy and dull, which made the originally spacious convalescent room feel extremely depressing. This little Stephanie is the little girl. Looking at little Stephanie sitting lifeless on the bed alone. Zhao He was originally in a slightly joyful mood because he snapped up the little Pichu, but it fell to the bottom in an instant, and he felt a heartache, and a tear fell from the corner of his eye. Mr. Zhao. Dr. Lin on the side, seeing this scene, pursed his lips, and didn't know what to say, so he could only yell softly. Oh, it's okay, I'm fine, let's go in. Zhao He came to his senses, quickly wiped away his tears, opened the door and walked in. Looking at the little girl, she put on a warm smile, but this warm smile was mixed with bitterness that could not be concealed. The little girl noticed that her father and the doctor were coming, but she didn't respond, and she didn't even turn her head to take a look. Little girl, daddy is coming. Zhao He walked into the recuperation room with the Pokemon transport box in his arms. He called out to the little girl softly, walked to the window, and slowly opened the closed curtains. The sunlight suddenly shone in, instantly brightening up the gloomy and depressing room. The warm sunlight shone on the little girl's lifeless face, which finally aroused a little reaction from the little girl. The colorless pupils turned slightly. He glanced at Zhao He standing in front of the window. Then turn around again. She glanced at Dr. Lin who was already standing in front of her bed. Finally turned back to the original direction. The expression on his face didn't change at all. There was silence for about 10 seconds. Only then softly opened his mouth and shouted. Father, Aunt Lin. I heard the little girl's lifeless voice. A trace of pain flashed across Zhao He's face. Hastily raised his hand and wiped his face, only then did he wipe away the pain and put on a smile again. He walked forward quickly, sat on the edge of the bed, took the upper body of the little girl into his arms, and at the same time put the Pokemon transport box in his hand on the bed, and said happily. Little girl, see what present dad brought you. The little girl didn't respond, and after four or five seconds, she lowered her eyes slightly and looked at the red and white spherical box in front of her. But after only looking at it for a second or two, he looked away again and said softly. Isn't mom still coming to see the little girl? Hearing these words, Dr. Lin on the side couldn't help but burst into tears, and turned around to wipe it off. As a woman, even as a doctor, she is used to seeing life and death parting, but she can't watch this scene calmly and listen to such an ordinary sentence. Zhao He couldn't hold back anymore, his heart was so painful that he couldn't breathe, hot tears flowed unstoppably, dripping on the forehead of the little girl in his arms, rolling down from her bloodless cheeks. Since the death of Xiaonanan's mother, every time Zhao He came to visit her, she would ask her this question. But it was such a simple sentence, but Zhao He couldn't suppress the pain in his heart every time, and he collapsed directly. A heart seems to be put into a frying pan normal, frying it over and over again. 
He could hardly hold on to this kind of life. The little girl was leaning in her father's arms, her bloodless little face was still expressionless. In a pair of originally beautiful eyes, the pupils seem to be blind and have no focal length. Zhaohe's violently heaving chest and rapid heartbeat did not arouse the slightest reaction from her. Instead, he was studying the hot tears that dripped from Zhaohe's face, hit her forehead, and then rolled down her cheeks. Couldn't help sticking out my little tongue and licking it. It is bitter, salty, and a little sour, but there is no sweetness. The entire convalescent room was oppressed, and even the sunshine, which symbolized warmth and brightness, could not dispel it. It wasn't until a lovely voice sounded that this style of painting was completely broken. Pichu. Zhao He stopped crying, Dr. Lin turned around again, the little girl was also attracted, and her pupils turned to the direction of the sound. It came from the red and white spherical box in front of her. At this time, in the ventilation hole of the Pokemon transport box, suddenly, a pair of round, watery, obsidian-like beautiful eyes appeared. Blinked. Looking curiously at the little girl's lifeless pupils. The eyes of the two little guys meet at this moment. One is full of curiosity and the other is very calm. One is full of agility, and the other is full of dead silence. One represents the world's best hope, and the other represents the world's saddest indifference. These are two completely opposite sights. They converge at this moment, attracting each other. After about 10 seconds, the little girl said softly. What's this? Zhao He's face full of tears froze for an instant, and after a while, he suddenly became agitated, and quickly said. Little Pichu, this is the Pokemon Pokemon Little Pichu, a present from Dad. Can I open it? The little girl's calm words reappeared. However, there was a tinge of anticipation vaguely mixed in the calm once in a while. This trace of expectation is very secret, and ordinary people can't find it at all. But Dr. Zhao He and Dr. Lin, who knew the little girl very well, keenly grasped this glimmer of expectation. Their faces were all a little moved. Especially Zhao He, his heart suddenly became excited. This sliver of anticipation from the little girl was like a panacea injected into Zhao He's already battered and bruised heart, making it rejuvenate with strong vitality. Zhao He looked at Dr. Lin with unconcealable excitement in his eyes. Dr. Lin was also very pleasantly surprised, even faint tears of surprise oozed from his eyes, and nodded to Zhao He repeatedly. Dr. Lin's nod brought great confidence to Zhao He, and he quickly said to the little girl. Of course, dad will open it for you right now. I will do it myself. The little girl said something softly to stop Zhao He's movement, but made Zhao He ecstatic. Under his excited gaze, the little girl slowly stretched out her hands and opened the Pokemon transport box. As the box opened, a very cute little Pichu was revealed, lying on the edge of the box, with a pair of extremely cute watery eyes, curiously looking at the little girl who was quietly looking at it at this time, blinking after blinking, send out a very cute growl. Pichu, Pichu. Before the little girl could respond, Dr. Lin at the side was almost screamed out by the little guy's cute appearance and cute growl, and quickly covered his mouth excitedly. Zhao He is completely different from Dr. Lin. Little Pichu's cuteness doesn't affect him at all. The only thing that can affect him is his daughter Shaunanan. Just like now, his eyes didn't look at Little Pichu at all, but stared closely at his daughter Shaunanan. At this time, the pupils of the little girl, after Little Pichu called out cutely, became more and more focused, and in the indifferent line of sight, colors began to appear faintly. This made Zhao He breathless with excitement. A seed called hope was ingrained in his heart and began to take root and sprout. One day, a brilliant flower will surely bloom. Little Pichu looked at the strange little Stephanie in front of him, stretched out his little hand and scratched his head in doubt, a little confused. This little Stephanie looks so weird to it. Shouldn't it be as lively as yourself? Why does it look so dead, like a stone? The lively and active character of this little Pichu prevents him from digging into the corners of his head when he can't figure it out. So after only thinking for a few seconds, I put this question behind me. Instead, she realized that this strange little girl should be her future master, so she took the lead in saying hello and shouted happily. Pichu, Pichu. Hearing little Pichu's cute growl, little Nanan's body moved slightly, and the corners of her mouth trembled, as if something had forcefully broken into her heart that had long been closed to the world. 
Zhao He and Dr. Lin had a panoramic view of the little girl's involuntary movements, and both of them had tears in their eyes, and they looked at each other, full of excitement. At this time, the lively and active little Pichu obviously didn't want to stay in the Pokemon transport box. With two small hands, he pressed down on the edge of the transport box and directly turned the transport box up, and then kicked his legs, and threw herself into the arms of the little girl. The little girl was obviously at a loss. Both arms spread out, subconsciously trying to hug the little Pichu who rushed over. But it just opened, and then froze in midair. In the next second, little Pichu slammed headfirst into her arms, shaking her weak body, almost lying on the bed. The bump was a little painful. But the little girl just swayed and then stabilized, and her face also frowned tightly and then relaxed again, as if she didn't feel any pain. On the contrary, little Pichu, who was bounced onto the bed by her body, got up and raised his two little hands to cover his head, as if in pain. Of course it is fake. With the physical quality of Pokemon Pokemon, naturally it will not feel pain because of such a simple bump. As for why it pretended to be hurt. It's very simple, it's pretending to be poor for the benefit. It does this a lot in Pokemon manner. Every time I do this, I will get snacks or toys. Except when facing the great demon King Chu, I have never had any accidents. But this time something seems wrong. In the past, as long as I held my head for a few seconds, someone would definitely come forward to comfort it. But now a minute has passed, and there is no movement at all. So, little Pichu carefully opened his eyes a little, and continued to perform while looking at the little girl. Seeing her staring at him blankly. Immediately, I thought that my performance had been rejected by foresight, and I couldn't help but feel a little disappointed and annoyed. But don't be afraid, it still has a back hand. That is its big watery eyes. As long as he shows grievances in his big watery eyes, except for the great demon King Chu, no human being will be undefeated. This is the result it has obtained through many experiments, and it firmly believes in it. So, the little guy decisively used his backhand against the little girl, raised his little head, looked at the little girl with big watery eyes, and tried hard to brew a few tears, pitiful cried out loudly. Hi, hi, mount. Looking at the aggrieved little Pichu. The little girl's two hands moved, and the expression on her face was no longer so silent, and gradually became a little anxious. Seeing this situation, Zhao He's whole body trembled with excitement, and tears flowed out uncontrollably. His little niece finally had a normal reaction. To him, this was great news and a flower of hope. Dr. Lin at the side was also very excited. He wiped away the tears of surprise from his eyes, hurried forward, and said softly to the little girl. Little nanny, hurry up, give little Pichu a hug, if you hug it, it won't be wronged. Little Pichu is a little wrong, ah, uh, why don't you hug me, I won't be wronged. I want snacks and toys. However, even though he was wrong, the little guy didn't forget that he was acting, so he didn't express a strong rebuttal. After hearing Dr. Lin's words, Xiao Nanan's body moved obviously, she turned her head, glanced at Dr. Lin in a daze, and then turned her head to look at her tearful father. Zhao He naturally understood the purpose of Dr. Lin's words, quickly wiped away his tears, and said to the little girl while the iron was hot. Dr. Lin is right. Hurry up and hug it, hug it, and it won't feel wronged. What the hell? Little Pichu was a little dazed. Why are you all so sure that she hugs me? I won't feel wronged. What I want are toys, what I want are snacks. I just want a hug, am I wrong by dressing up? The little girl heard her father say the same, after a few seconds of silence, she slowly reached out to the little Pichu in front of her. Little Pichu, who was watching the surroundings while acting, was extremely speechless when he saw the little girl slowly stretching out her hands. Nima, can't you think that I want toys and snacks? Finally, the little girl's hand touched the little guy's body. Touching the soft hair on the little guy's body, a dead heart regained a little vitality, and a smile appeared on the corner of his mouth involuntarily. Seeing the little girl's smile, Zhao He shed hot tears again, Dr. Lin also covered his mouth excitedly, with tears in his eyes. It was the first time they had seen a smile on their little girl's face since the car accident two years ago. This greatly encouraged them. Little Pichu didn't act anymore, just stared at the little girl in a daze. This made the little girl think that what Dr. Lin and her father said was right, 
As long as she hugged the little guy herself, it would not be wronged. So he slowly exerted force on his hands, and hugged the obviously sluggish little Pichu into his small arms. Feeling the touch from her arms, the smile on the corner of the little girl's mouth also felt bigger and bigger. At this time, little Pichu also gave up the idea of getting toys and snacks by pretending to be wronged. Somewhat disappointed. However, the warm embrace of the little girl also made her feel a little comfortable, and she moved her little body slightly. Adjust your posture to make yourself more comfortable. The little girl felt the small movements of the little guy in her arms, and the corners of her mouth rose more and more. Bright flowers gradually bloomed on the originally dull face. The originally lifeless eyes are quickly recovering. And began to narrow his eyes slightly, the corners of his eyes couldn't help but twitch to the sides. The smile in his eyes could no longer be hidden. Then the smile deepened. Ripple had the happiest smile since the car accident that cost her her mother two years ago. Little Pichu felt that the little girl's emotions were different from before, and raised his cerebellum to look blankly. A smile is contagious. Seeing the happy smile of the little girl, little Pichu also became happy unconsciously. Thinking that this little Stephanie would be his future master, she propped herself up in the arms of the little girl, and rubbed her little face affectionately against the little girl's face to show her intimacy. And the little guy's actions made the little girl a little at a loss at first, but she gradually got used to it, and she couldn't help laughing like a silver bell. Hearing the silver bell-like laughter of the little girl. Zhao he was so excited that his whole body was shaking, his fists were clenched and opened uncontrollably, and he felt that a bright future was in front of him. Just then, a hand was placed on his shoulder. Zhao he turned his head and saw that it was Dr. Lin who couldn't hide his excitement. Dr. Lin whispered in his ear. Little Chupi is very helpful to the little girl's condition. Let's go out first and let the two little guys spend some time alone. Hearing what Dr. Lin said, Zhao he looked at little Nanan and little Pichu hesitantly. Seeing the two little guys rubbing their cheeks and playing with each other, smiling happily, he nodded immediately, followed Dr. Lin quietly out of the room, and closed the room. Door. Leaning against the wall, listening to the silver bell-like laughter of the little girl coming from the room, as well as the lovely growl of little Pichu, Zhao he was so excited that he hugged his head and slowly squatted down along the wall, tears flooding normal poured down, his mouth opened wide, but no sound came out. Dr. Lin stood aside and watched without disturbing Zhao He. She understands the pain in Zhao He's heart. At this time when hope comes, what he needs is not comfort, but a hard event to vent all the grievances and pains in the past two years. Outside the door, Zhao Hezai was crying silently. But in the room, the silver bell-like laughter of the little girl is getting louder and louder. One is crying, the other is laughing, but they are all expressing joy and hope. Gradually, Zhao He recovered, stood up and took the tissue handed over by Dr. Lin, wiped away his tears, smiled and said. Sorry, lost my temper. Dr. Lin nodded with a smile. I can understand your current mood. If it were me, I'm afraid I couldn't hold back from crying. You are stronger than me and most people. Then he said. Little Pichu is very helpful to the little girl's condition. From this point of view, it may not take long for little Pichu to let the little girl come out of the shadow of the car accident and regain her cheerful personality. If you keep your body healthy, you will be able to perform a bone marrow transplant. You should also pay attention to taking good care of your body during this time. Don't let your little girl's leukemia be cured, but your body collapses because of the operation. Disaster. Zhao He nodded excitedly while wiping his tears with a tissue. I know, I will definitely take care of my body, and I must take care of my body. Since God once again gave me hope, I must let my little girl grow up without any disaster or pain. Pokemon Pokemon Manor. Xiaobawang sat alone on the slide in the small playground in the forest, looking at the small playground that used to be very lively and now extremely quiet, with a lonely expression on his face. Since Chu Feng sold the 998 little Pichus, the entire Pokemon Manor is only left with little Bawang, Pikachu and Pai Yi Pai Er Pai San who come to play from time to time. The former clansmen have all disappeared, and even the 12 little friends who were called the 13 Taibao of the Pokemon Manor with me have left me. Xiaobawang naturally felt lonely. No way, the second batch of little Pichus have not yet been born, and the Pokemon Manor is naturally empty. 
In fact, Chu Feng felt a little uncomfortable seeing the formerly bustling Pokemon Manor suddenly empty. So there was an idea. The estate is intended to be a Pokemon paradise. In the future, 20 more Pokemon of each type will be cultivated in each period, and the extra 20 will not be sold, but will be kept in the Pokemon Manor. When there are more Pokemon Pokemon in permanent residence, it may be open to the public, used to collect tickets. This idea is very good, and has been greatly appreciated by Da Mimi. In fact, the originally lively Pokemon Paradise suddenly became empty. Da Mimi was even more uncomfortable than Chu Feng, and even felt a little uncomfortable. Hearing Chu Feng's idea of transforming this place into a Pokemon Paradise, he naturally strongly supports it. After feeling lonely, Xiaobawang slid down the slide in boredom. This is its previous favorite to play. I often take my 12 younger brothers to occupy the slide and enjoy it alone. But now it feels completely boring. I always feel like something is missing. Xiaobawang's little head couldn't figure it out. In fact, it doesn't like to play on slides, but the feeling that other little Pichus don't like it and can't do anything about it. It's so boring. Xiaobawang kicked the small plastic slide irritably, then fell backwards, lying on the open space in a big shape staring at the blue sky speechlessly. Although Pikachu and Pai Yi Pai Er Pai San often come to Pokemon Land to play, Xiaobawang doesn't like to play with them at all. The reason is simple. Pai Yi Pai Er Pai San relied on being a month older than it, and with the support of MIMI, they were not afraid of it at all. And often the three will unite to bully it. Its twelve little brothers were gone again. With one against three, it is completely unbeatable. How can the bully who has always been the big brother stand this kind of anger? Naturally, he doesn't like to play with Pai Yi Pai or Pai San. As for Pikachu, the little overlord didn't even have time to hide, so he would go to look for it after taking the medicine. In short, the little bully doesn't like anything that the bully can't beat. Little overlord. A greasy voice came. Xiaobawang knew who was coming, so he didn't respond. Zhang Yaoting walked up to the little bully with his hands behind his back, stretched out his head to block the sunlight shining on the little bully, with a wretched smile on his face. Isn't it boring to have no friends to play with you? How about I play with you? Xiaobawang rolled his eyes, got up from the ground, took two steps outside, and lay down on the ground again in a large font, enjoying the sun. A trace of embarrassment flashed across Zhang Yuting's face. Then he followed up shamelessly, opened his hands behind his back, and held a large lollipop in his right hand, shaking it in front of Xiaobawang's eyes. See what this is. Xiaobawang's eyes lit up immediately, and he sat up from the ground, his pupils turned with the rotation of the lollipop, and he looked like an idiot. Seeing this, a trace of excitement flashed across Zhang Yuting's face, like the strange Shu Li normal who abducted little Stephanie said. Do you want it? Xiaobawang nodded his head like a chicken pecking rice, and he couldn't take his eyes off the lollipop at all. Zhang Yaoting immediately captivated and said, If you'd like to come with me, I'll give you this lollipop, what do you think? Look, your friends are all gone, and you are the only one left here, so you are very lonely. Come with me, I will play with you every day, and I can also take you to visit the vast world outside. The outside is so big, there are all kinds of fun and delicious things. I also have a lot of delicious and fun things at home. You can eat whatever you want, play whatever you want, and then lollipops will be garbage to you, and you won't even want to look at them. Well, come with me. Xiaobawang is not easy to fool. After hearing Zhang Yuting's extremely captivating language, not only was he not captivated, but he recovered a little bit of consciousness, and looked suspiciously at the strange sorghum in front of him. It's just that his attention was soon attracted by the lollipop, and the corners of his mouth drooled. After some mental struggle, he nodded. Seeing Xiao Bawang nodding his head, Zhang Yuding's eyes widened in surprise, and he quickly confirmed. Really, would you like to come with me? He couldn't believe it, knowing that he had been in a stalemate with Xiao Bawang here for five days. There are various captivates every day, but Xiao Bawang simply ignores him. Unexpectedly, a lollipop made Xiaobawang agree to it today. How could Zhang Yaoting dare to believe this? Xiaobawang nodded again, with a sincere expression. As if to say, even if you don't captivate me with a lollipop, I'm willing to go with you. 
This made Zhang Yaoting instantly feel surrounded by a huge surprise, and couldn't help laughing out loud. However, at this moment, Xiaobawang suddenly bounced, stretched out a small furry hand, and snatched the large lollipop on Zhang Yuting's right hand. First make the opponent negligent, then aim at the target, and succeed in one blow. This set of procedures was played very skillfully by Xiaobawang. After succeeding, the little overlord will naturally not stay here obediently, turn around and run away. It wasn't until he ran a certain distance that Zhang Yaoting could not catch up with him, then he turned his head, stuck out his little tongue at Zhang Yaoting and flew up and down, making a slight sound. Then he turned his head and patted his little butt at Zhang Yaoting. The mocking gesture is well done. After ridiculing, he went to the nearby grove and disappeared from Zhang Yuting's sight. At this time, Zhang Yaoting was numb. Before the smile on his face could be restrained, it completely froze on his face. It took a while to react. Really angry and want to laugh. Thinking that I was actually deceived by a little guy whose intelligence is only about 10 years old, I suddenly felt a little embarrassed. Fortunately there was no one there. Just when Zhang Yaoting was rejoicing that no one saw that he was being fooled by a little guy whose intelligence was only about 10 years old, a slightly mocking chuckle sounded from behind him very inappropriately. Zhang Yaoting froze all over, and his face darkened in an instant. Turned his head stiffly. I saw Chu Feng with Pikachu on his shoulders, standing less than 2 meters behind him with a smile on his face. What did you see? Zhang Yaoting gritted his teeth. Chu Feng replied with a light smile. I think, I should have seen everything I should see. Pikachu standing on Chu Feng's shoulder also cried out happily. Pikachu, Pikachu. I, you, Pikachu, alas, I'm ashamed to face people. Zhang Yuding's face contorted for a while, and finally he looked at the blue sky speechlessly. Chu Feng stepped forward and patted Zhang Yuding's shoulder with a smile, persuading him. If you forget it, this little bully is not easy to handle and a new batch of little Pichu will be born soon, so you can choose another one among them. Zhang Yaoting hesitated, but finally shook his head. No, what I like is the character of this little bully. I just grind with it. I don't believe that I can't grind it. Sooner or later, I will definitely get rid of it. Seeing this, Chu Feng shook his head and smiled, and stopped trying to persuade Zhang Yaoting. At the same time, preparations were made for Zhang Yaoting to stay here for a year or so. Because when I was bored yesterday, Chu Feng used the system to scan the specific information of Xiaobawang. The system can scan any Pokemon specific information. It's just that after Chu Feng got the Pikachu rewarded by the system, he didn't care much about attribute qualifications, so he didn't use them much. Xiaobawang's attribute qualification is very good. If you want to divide qualifications according to some Pokemon Pokemon and humanities he has seen in the previous life. This bully has elite qualifications. However, its character is doomed that it is not easy to recognize the master. Overlord Ambition. This is the system's comment on its character. To put it simply, it means arrogance, very arrogance, such as the overlord of Western Chu, normal. I want to tame such a proud Pokemon. In addition to defeating it with absolute strength. Other estimates are not good enough. So Zhang Yaoting has a long way to go if he wants to subdue the bully. Let Pikachu play by himself, Chu Feng and Zhang Yaoting came to sit on the swing. After swinging a few times on the swing, Zhang Yaoting asked. By the way, where's Miss M.I.? Isn't she always inseparable from you? Why don't you see her? Chu Feng gave him a supercilious look. Do you think that everyone is as idle as you and doesn't need to work? Hearing what Chu Feng said, Zhang Yaoting was a little puzzled. Why? She's taking on a new movie again. I haven't heard that any movie is about to start filming recently. Chu Feng smiled and shook his head. It's not filming. What's that? Zhang Yaoting questioned. Variety show. Chu Feng shook his head again. It's not about entertainment, it's about the Pokemon company. Now she is basically in charge of everything in the Pokemon Pokemon company, and I am only in charge of research. She has been busy opening a new factory outside in recent days, which is used to make genetic culture tanks and genetic nutrient solutions, as well as Pokemon Pokemon peripherals. Especially around the Pokemon Pokemon, she opened 10 factories in one go. I also said that if the peripherals are done well, it will make more money than me selling Pokemon Pokemon. 
Why am I so unbelievable? Zhang Yaoting said with a smile. I guess it's really possible. Although a little Pichu is not expensive at 250,000 yuan, most people in our country can't afford it or are reluctant to buy it, and the little Pichu is so cute and now it's a mess. Many children are clamoring for it, and parents can't buy it. Seriously, I will naturally want to buy peripherals to coax my children. Hearing what Zhang Yaoting said, Chu Feng thought about it and felt that it really made sense. In this way, perhaps Da Mimi is right, selling peripherals may really be more profitable than selling Pokemon Pokemon yourself. Soon Chu Feng stopped thinking about this problem. Anyway, whether it is selling Pokemon Pokemon to make money or selling Pokemon Pokemon peripherals to make money, the money will eventually go into your pocket. At this time Zhang Yaoting asked again. Miss Mi is so busy. What about you? Aren't you busy researching a new breed of Pokemon in the laboratory recently? Why are you free to come here yesterday and today? Chu Feng replied. A new batch of little Pichu is going to shell smash these two days, can I not come and watch? More importantly, a new species of Pokemon I researched a month ago is also shell smash these days. Of course I have to stay here and watch. A new breed of Pokemon. Zhang Yaoting immediately became interested. Can you talk to me? Of course, it's not something that can't be said. Chu Feng smiled, and was about to speak to Zhang Yaoting about Growlithe, when Lin Meiling ran over in a hurry. Boss, boss, come and have a look. Seeing Lin Meiling's anxious appearance, Chu Feng and Zhang Yaoting quickly stood up from the swing. What's the matter? What happened? Lin Meiling ran to Chu Feng, pointed to the direction of Breeder's room with one hand, took a few breaths, and said. Then, that Pokemon egg, that Pokemon egg you specifically told us to put aside alone, something happened. Hearing Lin Meiling's words, Chu Feng was startled for a while, and then immediately ran towards Breeder's room. Seeing this, Pikachu, who was playing at the side, yelled and quickly caught up with Chu Feng. Zhang Yaoting was stunned for a moment, seeing that Chu Feng was running in such a hurry, there must be something serious, so he quickly followed. Only Lin Meiling, who was already exhausted, looked at their backs speechlessly, took a few breaths, and hurriedly followed. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support our channel.